Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hola. Hola. Como estas? What's going on with you? Nothing. This is probably the first time I sat down today. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you was able to sit down for the show. Man. <laughs> Hey, so here we go. Thank everyone for tuning in to Still Radio. I am your host, Still. That is my co-host, Ebony, a.k.a. Miss Hot Topic. Will the green-eyed genie be joining us tonight? He's at work. He'll be, you know, he might be here for the last hour. Okay, that's what's up. That's cool. Well, once again, thank everyone for tuning in to Steel Radio. Uh, we are starting pretty much on time. I'm proud of that. You know what I'm saying? Real, real, real good about this that. This is like the third time um, in a row we started on time, so we're doing good. I mean, I, I mean that's good. You know what I'm saying? That's good. So, uh, first of all, I want to say again, you know, how we always do about this time. We don't own the rights to any music that we play here on the station, but we do like to start our show out with this smooth, smooth intro. So, yeah. So, how was your, I mean, so what kept you busy today that you didn't sit down until just right now? Like, what you doing? You was in the kitchen, cooking biscuits, cooking. You know, my like, whole weekend has been crazy. I had to work late, and that actually doesn't happen very often. It's very rare. But, you know, mm -hmm. um, Friday was Brian's birthday. He had to work till 9.30. I had to work till 7.30. Right. Okay. So um, we didn't really get to do anything at all on his birthday. I sent him lunch. Um there's a barbecue place out here he likes so i sent him lunch but so mo so saturday we spent most of the day out we went out to lunch and did some stuff out by the time we got home it was like nine o'clock at night and i was like you know what i gotta get this christmas tree down <laughs> wait you still got a christmas tree out i still have my christmas yeah so uh... i had to take my tree down last night and so we were up to like two doing taking christmas stuff down and then today so listen i think i've mentioned this before but i don't want you to say don't you say anything smart i like decorating for holidays all holidays so even my bathroom gets decorated no no I, I mean i'm not saying anything about it i mean i think it's cool that you're able to bring forth the holiday cheer you know with all the different holidays i mean i'm not mad at you you know what i'm saying i'm not mad at yeah. you so even I my mean, bathroom gets decorated so today I spent, it takes me a long time to clean because I, 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 Brian says I have a cleaning demon. So it, it took me like three hours to get my bathroom clean because I had to scrub down all the walls and all the floors and I had to change all the decor in the bathroom. It's a whole process. Hey, listen, no, no I don't, I don't think anyone's going to complain about, you know, about you being clean. Being clean is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, oh, plus I had to change the centerpiece on my table in my in my kitchen because it was still Christmas, and I usually make those. So it was just the whole thing, and then I was sweeping. Once I, and once I start cleaning one area, I identify, oh, that needs to be done too. So it ends up being like an eight-hour process because I got to sweep this and mop that. Well, let me just go ahead and clean out this cabinet. Oh, let me change these sheets. I've done three loads of laundry in between all that. So it's a thing. I mean, listen, listen. I don't think anyone's ever going to complain uh, about you being about you being clean. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Brian does. So. Brian does. He does. He says I have a cleaning demon. That my children think I have OCD. I mean, I mean, you. I mean, there, there are, there are, there are worse things. You know what I'm saying? There, there are, are there are, there are worse. There are worse. There are things. Worse, there are worse things. So I don't. I, so you being clean, that's a good thing. Yeah. So anyway, that means that I did not cook dinner because I never I didn't stop when I was supposed to. Like I say to myself, OK, you're going to do this till this time. Then you're going to do this. And I didn't stop. So when I get off the live, I will have to whip up these pork chops. And uh, uh, yeah. OK. Plus the, well, the baby cool. that was here before, she's she's been here this weekend. Uh, you know, I always uh, have a lot going on. Right, sounds like it. Sounds like it. <laughs> but I'm sounds sitting like now. It. I have got my face on and my hair on before the show. You got my wine. And you ready? And you ready? Okay. Well, as we have uh, a couple more seconds into this intro, we want to say this wine is good. Take this time to say thank you 
to all those who have joined in tonight to Steel Radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. And Mama B says her tree is still up. Well, I, uh, my, first of all, Mama B didn't put her tree up until the 20th, so she could keep it up maybe an extra few days, I guess. Um, no, I'm thinking after Christmas and, and you what know, you mean? especially like how, how long after Christmas do you think it's too long to keep the tree up? The next day. That that's just me. I, yeah, the next day. Well, when do you, do I, you I, are you one of those that puts it up like um the day after Thanksgiving? Who me? Yeah, did your family do that? No, I don't even no, I don't even I don't even put up a tree. I don't tree. Like no, we're not doing none of that. Nah. See, that's what's wrong with nah. you. And we both have on blue tonight. But tonight you got the compliments. They say you're looking real good in that blue. Oh, well, you know, his thing. Um, I, I go back and I look at the videos and pretty much every video. I always got on a white shirt or a blue shirt. You know what I'm saying? So no, you I always got on black. I have on listen, I have on white sometimes too. I will have on a white shirt sometimes, but most of the time it's black shirt. So I figured. You know, let us let know me that you own more than black one black shirt. Yeah, so I figured, you know, I'll put on a blue one. So I got a blue one. I think I got a red one, a green one. You know, I, I'm gonna try to put on different color t-shirts so people don't think like because they, you know, I don't want to seem so grim. What's up? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, how was your day? Your weekend? Um, it's been pretty good. I can't complain. I, you know, but well, we didn't too. talk all weekend this weekend. That's unlike us. I mean, well, I figured, you know, you know, with Brian's birthday and everything like that, I figured you guys was like probably doing something festive or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, you know, just stayed in my corner, let you guys you know, stand and, your... And you know what? We're going to make that a topic of another show. That We're going to make that a topic of another show. What? what, 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 what we're going to talk about the difference in how men and women celebrate holidays and birthdays and things, because that's about to become a whole thing in my house. Okay, I mean, we can talk about it, but we can talk about it right now. I mean, what? Like, no, no, I don't want to talk about it without him being here. To okay. Well, yeah, okay, that, that's fair enough. That's fair. I mean, we're we gonna talk we don't... about that on the show because okay, I, I just and I keep hearing well, that's just how men are. Well, that's just how they was raised. I don't care. Like I told him yesterday, he was like, "Yeah, my birthday is just another day. It's not a big deal." To be clear, my birthday is a big damn deal. I understand, and most women treat their, their birthdays as a big damn deal. Whatever month their birthday's in, they, for whatever reason, women decide that they want to take the whole entire month and make it a whole celebration, like a whole celebration. I don't, I never really understood that. Like, your birthday is whatever day it is in that month. So how do you take that day and turn that whole day into a whole month celebration? It's beyond me. I because, think it's greedy. Because I'm worth it. Like, what the hell? Like, am I, I not I, worth the whole month? I mean, let's be honest. Women in general, especially moms and wives and things of that nature, do not get celebrated as much as people like to think we do. What? We get Mother's Day. We get our birthday. And if you have a man or a husband, you may get Valentine's Day. Whatever. And yeah, well depending upon how old your children are, you might not even get Mother's Day. Because if you have young kids, like my dad used to say, he never got my mom anything for Mother's Day. He used to say she wasn't his mother. So as long as the kids was young, they couldn't buy nothing for themselves. And he said, it ain't my mama, so I ain't it. buying nothing for her. So that means she didn't even get Mother's Day. So, then, so, so because of that, you just say, the month that you're born, you be like, you know what? I'm going to turn the whole month into my to mom. And that's going to be me. To celebrate me. That's that's what we do. Women decide women in 2022 are learning more and more to love on themselves, to understand their own self-worth and that it doesn't necessarily have to be wrapped up in anything or person. And we're saying that the month I was born is a holiday uh -huh. and I'm celebrating all damn month. Hey, well, listen, I'm not going to listen for those women out there who want to take the whole month of their month to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I say this, don't get turned up. Do you make it a month uh, of nothing but festivities and enjoyment for you? Me, it's just another day. It's Maybe you should get on board. Maybe you should get on board and you should take the whole month. Nah, it's not that Especially serious. Especially because you don't vacation that often. You don't do a lot for yourself. 
maybe that's the month you say this is Paul month and I'm going to do me. I'm going to take a vacation. I'm going to go to the spa. I'm going to rest my nerves without being sick. Go to the spa. Yeah. Men go to the go spa. To the spa. So you don't need a good back massage. You don't need your feet rubbed. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, so you can go that to the sounds spa. Cool. So you can go I mean, to I the mean, spa. We can do it. I mean, you know, I, you know, there's no telling what I may do in 2022. Ain't no, ain't no telling what I may do this, this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this, uh, yeah, so, to keep doing the same thing, getting the same results, that's the definition of insanity. Do some new shit. I mean, that's what I mean. That's what they say. That's what they say. So, anyway, so what are we getting into tonight? Let's go ahead and talk about that. I mean, we got a a long <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, we haven't done our our twenty questions in a long time, right? So I mean, at one time, questions were twenty-one questions. I don't even know which one. It's twenty-one. But we 20, said it was twenty questions, but we never get through all twenty of them. Okay. So right. and that's so, fine. But at one time we said we were going to just make you know this day Sundays we were going to make them our quest twenty questions day because some of our other topics get kind of heavy, and we haven't done that. So I got questions. I got questions. Do you have answers? Do I have answers? I mean, it's only me and you talking. We're gonna read the audience, but you know, we can't we can't depend on audience. No, but see, what what I'm what I'm saying is, what I want to do, I want to do something. We, I want you to ask your questions, right? But I also want to hear from the audience. I want the audience to ask a question as well. Now, if you feel comfortable, you don't have to, but if you feel comfortable, I want you to try. I want to see how this works. You know, so we can try to, you know, also incorporate this in other shows. If you feel comfortable, if you have a question, hit the little request button at the bottom, jump into the box, introduce yourselves, give us a little background, where you're from, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What zodiac sign? Uh, uh, you no, know what I'm saying? Something. to give all that information. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But just, you know, just jump in the box, introduce yourself, ask your question, right? And then we will talk about that question and then we'll just try to keep it moving. If you don't feel comfortable doing it in the box, it's fine. You don't have to. It's not a requirement. Just saying, just a little suggestion. If you don't feel you know comfortable saying? doing it in the box, there's a at the bottom of the screen, there's a little question mark. Or, yeah, is that a question mark? Or explanation mark? <clears throat> I don't mark? even know what that is. I don't know if you're that, on your uh, phone, at the bottom of the screen where it says add a comment, the plus sign, the little triangle, there's a there's a little question box. And you can put it in that question box and it'll pop up for everybody to see. Really? Yes. No way. <laughs> I didn't know that. Like, I mean, you're telling me some new stuff. I didn't even know you could do that. So push it. I just pushed it. Then what? So you push it, and then what happens? Nothing happens. There's no questions yet. Anyone watching can send. Oh, okay. But how do you, you know what? I'm going to let y'all figure that out. I'm not going to touch the screen. And I'll mess around and cut something off. So, all right. So, boom. You ready? I'm ready. And listen. All right, These listen. Questions are gonna be that heavy. Don't worry. I know you're always worried about me putting you under the bus and in the hot seat. These questions yeah. are not that heavy. You tonight. always, you always be trying to put me under the bus, like you know what I'm saying. Listen, remind you. Keep in mind, on Monday, I almost got ran over by my truck, so I'm done with getting run over shit. So just go ahead and keep it light. Keep it, you know what I'm listen. saying. Keep it real. Keep it real delicate. Put it on delicate. Listen, like my shirt says, I'm too busy riding my unicorn, so I'm not even gonna stress you out today. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't stress me out tonight. You know what I'm saying? Don't stress okay, me out. Okay. The first question is, what is your favorite first world problem? Excuse me. You my know, you know what first world problems are, right? First all world problems. Know what first world problems are? What's my favorite? Yeah, you know what my favorite one is. Yeah, tell me. I don't. What? My favorite one is um, what am I going to eat? What what are you going to eat? Yeah, because you know I have so many options. <laughs> it's not like okay. I'm you know feeling like I'm going to starve or anything. That's why it's a first world problem because I actually have a selection of what I can eat. And so that's my favorite one because I'm fat and greedy and I like to eat. <laughs> so the first world problem is like um. Audience, we want to hear from you too. What's your favorite first world problem? First world problem. Um, yeah, you know, I, I I sometimes probably ask myself that, like, what am I gonna eat? That's usually <laughs> that's usually a, a dilemma that I have like, every day. Like, what am I gonna eat? And then typically I ask myself the question, and I always end up eating the same thing every day. 
like all the time, most of the time. That Chicken. Is awful. That is awful. I told you before you have childish taste buds. I know. I like. I had. A, I had. A, I had a bacon cheeseburger today too. It's it pretty tasty. You have very childish taste buds. Like mm, it's. I know. I know. I don't. I don't have. A, I don't have. A, <laughs> oh, you know, a, I don't, I don't have a large my, palate. One of my, one of my. I don't know if it's my favorite, but one first world problem I always have is like I hate when like I chip a nail or something, and now I gotta get my nails done because I can't walk around with one broken nail, right? Because it's just not who I am. Yeah, that's not. That's not good. Yeah, that's not. That's yeah. Not. That's definitely a first world problem, but I, you know, it's, it's one that I deal with sometimes. It's definitely tacky. Definitely. Or, if you have another to... first world problem, what should I wear today, right? Okay. Well, that's that's easy for me. It's usually jeans, <laughs> t-shirt, jeans and a t-shirt, sweatsuit and a t-shirt. Yeah, that's pretty much easy for me. Like that's yeah, I don't yeah, I don't get all razzle dazzled. Uh-huh. Uh, what? What'd she say? What am I doing with this head for work? Oh, like doing your hair. Okay. Oh, doing okay. Your hair. You know, my nasty mind immediately. <laughs> I was like. Yeah. Right. I, let's see. Okay. Um. So how do you, somebody put a question in the thing, but how do you, how, does, can everyone see the question or is it only can I see it? I think only you can see it. Uh. I don't even, how can I, well, it says everyone should be able to see it. Well, you, maybe you have to approve it for everybody to see. Oh, yeah, boom, there it is. Can y'all see it? I put it on there. I hit the button. Okay, the question it? is, is it possible for women making six figures to find love with a man that isn't? What's your take? So I'll let Paul um, answer first because he's a guy. I'm, I'm assuming you want the male perspective first. Wow, that's a D. Is, uh, is it possible for a woman making six six figures to find love with a man that isn't? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really see it that it's too far out of the of the spectrum of things that it, that's that that's possible. I think the man himself have to probably be. A little bit more secure, yeah, with itself. You know what I'm saying to do it, and then I think it all depends on the woman who's making the six figures and how she, how she treats him and how he's treating her, and you know what I'm saying shit like that. So again, I'm not saying so. It's not a thing that I feel that a woman has to, um, I don't know, feel less powerful. But I mean, you know, it, it just all depends. It all depends on the relationship. I think if, if there's if there's real trust and commitment between the two, and I mean, I don't really think it should matter too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like, think that my my the first my easy answer is yes. It is definitely possible. But I think for the woman, it's only going to really be possible if you surround yourself with people that let you be great. And here's what I mean by that. Particularly women. I'm not a dude, so I don't really know. You can speak, Paul, from a from a dude's point of view. But I know particularly women, right? Our friends, our aunts, our grandmas, our moms, our co-workers, whoever, they all feel like they need to give their opinion on whatever's going on with us, right? I think it, it's pretty apparent, right, that if you're making six figures, everybody around you kind of knows that you're pretty well off. They might not know how much you make. But people can just look at how you live, the car you drive, things of that nature, especially in the black family, I hate to say. <laughs> people can usually tell, oh, she's she's pretty well off, right? So that means they can also tell when you bring the dude that um, is only making $40,000 a year doing whatever he's doing, right? Because they can tell by the way he dresses, by the house he lives in, the car he drives, things of that nature. So what will happen is, now mm. people start getting in her ear, right? And people start saying, girl, you, he only, how much he make? You know, people start asking questions and getting it. Or she's put in a position where she's now trying to spend her money to make him look like she wants him to look so he's acceptable to everybody around her so they don't have all these questions. Now, like Paul said, now he's got to deal with his own ego. It's like, is he cool with that? Like, you know what I mean? Is he is he okay with that, or is that going to become an issue? It may never be a point of contention for the two people involved in the relationship. 
is usually more of an issue for the people around you. So let's say they decide to get married. Let's say they decide to So it's probably going to be more of her money on the line. She's still going to want to live at the means that she can afford. People have things to say about that. Well, who paying for that house? Well, who's well, paying I mean, that car note? That type of yeah, thing. She, you know, she when she goes out or whatever, she can afford the finer things, the nicer things. So it's people around you that you will have to either ignore the haters or ignore the people with the questions and tell them, this is my life, this is my relationship and I'm fucking happy. Or that will continue, that will start to eat away at you and it will then pose a problem in your relationship. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that could possibly be a case. But I de like you said, I definitely think um, you just have to be secure in your own, in your own self. Like, and not let outside interference, you know, determine what's what going happens. on. Then they'll start saying stuff like, girl, you sure he not using you as a come up? Like, it's just all kinds of little. And it will be the same thing vice versa. Although I think that in, in our society, it's definitely more acceptable for a dude to be making six figures or making way more money than a woman. And it's more acceptable. But it's still the same thing. I feel like, you know, dudes, somebody still will be saying, you know, you sure she's not using you as a come up? You sure she's not playing you like whatever y'all would say to each other? It's always the outside voices, not necessarily the two people involved. So you both have to be real secure in what y'all got and don't let anything from the outside influence you is my answer. What? Well, well, yeah, I would agree with that. That that's that's a fair statement. That's fair, that's very good. Very good. You should applaud yourself. Did you think of that? That's pretty good. It's pretty good advice there, buddy. You know what? I always good. give good advice. I mean, that's pretty good. That's I mean, but that's damn good advice right there. That's that's pretty good. Don't let outside. You know what I'm saying, don't let your friends get your ass in trouble, and don't let your friends influence you or talk you family, out of a good thing. And your family, because family's the same way, right? The family is yeah. cool if they asking you for money and they asking you to help them out and stuff like that. That's cool because we family. But if somebody else is doing it, then they just using you, girl. Oh, you deserve better than that. It's just mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff in your ear jibber jabber in your ear 24 7. this is true this is true cool do you have next question, question or should i go on yeah go on i mean i don't know okay does go the ahead. question stay there or does it what happens do you have to make it no like when i hit the so when i <clears throat> when i hit the little x then it, then it goes away okay. so i guess the next time you i'm gonna ask the question if i hit it it just pops on the screen so if you don't okay. want to jump in the box you can just do that that's kind of cool that you figure that little feature out pretty pretty snazzy i never knew what it was well you know i'm pretty tech know. savvy did you did you see my well, yeah, um, I didn't know what... did you see my promotion for today's show i don't want to talk about it you always know some shit I always but i but i mean you know it's good though it's good yeah because i get bored so i'm like i don't want to put the same thing up i did last time i'll do something different me, I put the same one up from last the other day the same exact one i think when you start putting the same stuff up though people start ignoring it Hmm, I don't know. Well, we'll figure that out too. What's your All next right. question? The next question. Instead of greeting each other with handshakes, what would you prefer the national greeting be? Uh right now? <laughs> Elbows. <laughs> corona, nigga. Right now, just the peace sign, like what's up? Like, hey, 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 right. It's corona right now. Damn a handshake. Damn a handshake. We just yeah, do I, you, I doubt do you up from over here. Um, no, not no, no. Nah. Well, yes, no, nah. yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Like, we, me and my That's students, you know, we do the like, like me and my, my, my students, you know, we do the handshake, bam, you know, lean in for one like that. That's, That's it. why you had COVID yeah. twice because you wouldn't stop uh, greeting people like that. I mean, you know, who knows? I could have been in the grocery store and somebody could have sneezed or some shit and I walked into it. I, who knows? Really? That's what we don't want. Well, this is the first thing I've eaten today. It's it's nine o'clock, and this is the first bite of food I've had today. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So you so you think it should be like what do you think it should be the greeting? Right now, I don't think it should be too much contact from anybody. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's somebody who you know what I'm saying that you know doesn't have COVID or something. 
right now, I don't think it should be just. It should just but how be do you regular, know anybody you know, don't have COVID nowadays? I don't know. Maybe who knows? Go get tested or something. You know what I'm saying? No. What is the last audience? Time? Audience, what y'all think the greeter should be? You about to you about to bite the hamburger right now, ain't you? I am. You about, you about to bite the shot the hamburger like right now? You about to eat it? <laughs> right now? It's a bacon right cheeseburger. It's a bacon cheeseburger. I'm really, I'm hungry. This wine is the first from? thing I drank today, and this burger is the first thing I'm eating today. Okay, but what, where'd you get the burger from? Listen, let me tell you about these burgers. Just head mm -hmm. nods. Jai says just head nods. Just stuff. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So let me tell you about these burgers. I'm a, I'm putting y'all on this right now. The Walmart brand of the Angus bacon cheeseburger. Walmart. Walmart. It's like a, it, they're already made, or they're they're like yeah, they're already made. They're frozen. You put them in the microwave for a minute and fifteen seconds. Man, listen. Walmart. Though. You know, Brian says I'm kind of bougie, right? So I so when Brian was getting it, I was like, I'm like, I don't want that. Like, <laughs> and I was like, Walmart. one day I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and get it. Man, this thing is so good. I'm not. I, I mean, I'm going to take your word for it on that. It tastes better than, than, the, than the burger. At, 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 I'm telling you. Telling you what I know. Better than what? It's better than McDonald's. Oh, well, any, anything is better than McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's don't make no, they don't make no, they don't make, no, they don't make good burgers. They don't make good burgers. So, <laughs> yeah. So, what's your next question? Okay, the next question is, since we're talking about my burger, what is your oddest but tastiest snack combo? Um, let's see. I would say just ice cream and cookies. That's not odd. Have to say, it's odd for me. You know what I'm saying? I usually have just one or the other, <laughs> but sometimes I'd be having like a I'd be having like a fat boy moment. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I just eat them both at the same time. Like I'll take like the the, 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 the the Oreo cookies and I'll just eat it with, you know, the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of yeah. odd for me. You need to venture out more because I eat that all the time. You know, I usually heat up some chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. And we put, the, put them with the ice cream, put a little chocolate syrup on them. It's everything. Yeah, Mama B yeah. says fry, fries and ice cream are good. Fries and ice cream, like together. yeah. You ever like dip your fry in some ice cream? It's super good. Uh, yeah. I will dip my French fries in 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 a in a in a, in a frosty. You go to Wendy's and get mm -hmm. the frosty, and you dip it in the frosty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll do that. Everything but the bagel, hummus, and carrots. Mm, that sounds like a healthy snack. <laughs> I've been getting. I've been. I've been trying to move away uh, from snacking so much, but sometimes it's just hard. It's just hard to just not snack. Sometimes, you know what I mean. Sneezy, you see, Sneezy says she used to eat dry macaroni. She said, "What now?" Just dry macaroni. Yeah, that's 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 definitely different. Who's <laughs> doing that? I think so. I like to mix. So I don't really like candy corn. But candy corn and cashews together, super good. Super not good. No you haven't even had it. I've had I've had candy corn I'm and I've had you, cashews. Eat, eat, I'm telling you, eat, you it, eat them with some cashews. Good. It'll change your life. And they really, they're really not that. That's not that's not something that you want to put together at the same time. I'm telling you, put it together. It's good. I think. Do you have any like juicy topics, juicy questions? Not too. Excuse me. Not excuse too me. Juicy, I gotta build you up to some juicy questions because you know you always. Um, the audience is liking these questions just because you don't eat snacks. I'm just saying. Anyway, okay, I just I just question. don't think cashew. Oh shit. What will be the back in my day thirty years from now? You think? What will be the back in my day? What do you mean? You know how old people like, used to always say, yeah, back in my day, we used to do so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. What do you think the, will be the back in my day when we get old? Um, back in my day, girls used to twerk to anything that came on the radio. 
Yeah, pretty much. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll probably be twerking back in my day. Um, back in my day, probably be the same type of thing. Like back in my day, we used to listen to this type of music. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. I don't, I don't think much is really going to change with the back in the day type thing. You know I'm saying just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because even they, even though I, even, even now I would say, you know what I'm saying? Back in our day, they don't make music like they used to. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the Joe to see? What happened to the R. Kelly's? What happened to, you know, you know what I'm saying? So we, I even, I say that now and it, we, it's not even that far gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they don't really have, they don't even really have like groups and stuff like that anymore. It's like everybody's just a solo act. It's not, That's it's not true. too often that you have. So you want to bring back know. groups? Yeah. That would be that would be I great. I told Brian that we were going to have an episode on the show where we're going to have a topic that involves music, because you know that's his thing. Did you just lick the bottle? Hold that's on, time it. out, real quick, real quick. Hey Bree, hey baby. First of all, she Glad said that on every on every show. Just because you saw it today. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just glad. I'm glad to see you. Like you, you here, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. Um. One Scorpio chica says. Heck, I'm already old enough to say back in my day, folk play actual instruments on albums. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, nowadays you have auto-tune and like everything else. Like there's not too many times, like not too often people like play like real, real music anymore. So it's definitely uh, a good thing. That, uh, so that's what okay, we're here's, back a, here's a question. You know, you're going to act like you don't know the answer to it, but we're going to, here we go. Probably. Probably. It depends on how deep you try to go. I'm probably going to bring her. <laughs> I, I told you, I'm not trying to go deep at all tonight. We're having a lighthearted good time on a Sunday night. Okay. This question is, what is the top thing on your bucket or your fuck it list? My bucket list? Okay. My top thing on my bucket list to do, and I'm probably going to do it this year. I'm doing it. I'm going to jump out there and I want to go to Dubai. That's where I want to go. I think that's my favorite place that I want to go. I want to go to Dubai. That's like I want to go. Why is I heard, your favorite place you want to go? Because I just heard that, you know what I'm saying, it'd be lit over there. I want to go find out. You know what I'm saying? I want to go. I just want to, I've always wanted to go to Dubai. When I was in the military, you know, I did a lot of traveling and things like that. But the one place that I didn't get an opportunity to go to was Dubai. So I've been to Turkey, Greece, Spain, Israel. Mama uh, Beat says she wants to go for the cars. She says she can't them. answer. You can answer it here because we don't have censorship on our show, Britain. I mean, Mama B. So go ahead and tell us what is your top thing on your bucket or your fuck it list? Yeah, I want to definitely go to the bucket You know, the That's fuck my... it list is different than the bucket list. What the fuck is a fuck it list? I mean, really. <laughs> What the fuck is a fuck it list? I don't know the what I heard a fuck list, it list. The fuck it list is the top thing sexually that you want to do on your list. Oh, oh, okay. Um, let me see. I want to. If I had to say that there's a fuck it list of things that I want to do <laughs> sexually in 2022, I want to climb a tree and do it in the tree top of the tree <laughs> have you have you ever seen the show sex sent me to the er no i have never seen that i've never i don't okay, even know what that was is an episode somebody climbed like, the tree somebody was having sex in the tree they fell off the tree they had to go to the er they had they had got hurt okay well um i'm gonna take that off the list but that would have that that would have been my thing i want to climb a tree and see if i can do it like you know up in the tree or some shit like that would be the that would be my fuck that would be my fucking thing if I had to, if I had to say I was going to do something. Listen, I don't, I don't have anything honestly on my bucket list that I haven't already tried that I wanted to do. I'm, I, 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 you know what? I knew, and I'm not trying to be mean or anything, <laughs> but I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Like, what? I don't. I, I knew, I, I, I know. I knew you was going to say that. I know. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's, yeah, he messed his thing up when I messed in that tree. Messes up. You know, I did not know that dicks could break. What? You you don't know you don't know dicks could break. 
uh, yeah, they can break. Why would they not break? I know like, how break. Would you, uh, vaginas break. Dicks break too. So how do vaginas break? Uh, they don't. They I'm sure they break. They don't. They don't break or anything like that. I, I mean, know. maybe like, your pelvis thought... bones or something can break around your vagina, but your literal vagina can't break. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't have one. I just assumed that they could break. No, I mean, isn't it? I mean, you know, I thought they would break. Uh, I didn't see, know what? dicks like could really break. Like <laughs> I found, I want, I learned that on sex sent me to the R. Okay, yeah. Me... It, it... Read some co any any comment. Any, I'm reading any comments? comments. Okay, so Mama okay. B says I want to fuck in the back of a truck in the mountains under the stars. Oh. That would be exciting. That seems pretty easy to accomplish. We live right near some mountains. I mean, make it happen. Make it do what it do. Right. Um, one Scorpio Chica says, I used to have a threesome on my list, but not anymore. I don't have anything on my bucket list. Um, Sneezy mm -hmm. says, a bucket list is to go to the Maldives. What the hell? What's the, what is the Maldives? What is that? Never heard of the Maldives? I no, mean, it's a place. I don't really know. know what to tell you more than it's like a place. Like Dubai. It's a place. Wait. Oh, okay. All right. You can't. You can do it with just anybody, Mama B. Just go tell them drive to the mountains if they have a truck, and let's just make it happen. Now, listen. Mm -hmm. One Scorpio Chica, why did you take your threesome off the bucket list? And just any threesome, like a threesome with two females or a threesome with two males, why did you take it off the bucket list? The inquiring minds want to know. Um. One Scorpio Chica says she's she's planning to go in 2024 to the Maldives. Where where is it? Like what country or what, what Sneezy, country is it? Sneezy says she wants to have sex on the beach. Okay. I've done that. And you can have the drink too. So just do both. Uh sex on the beach is not that exciting though. Like, it's, it's not because it's, really it's like sands and it's just it's the whole sand <laughs> everywhere. It's, it's a just, whole situation. It's really, <laughs> even if even if you even if you try to be like, okay, we're gonna put this blanket down or whatever like that, it's just it's really not that exciting. It's not as exciting as you know what I'm saying. It's not that exciting. Okay. It's like Sneezy says the Maldives is in Asia. Oh. One okay. Scorpio Chica says two guys, and I gave up trying to find the two guys. Okay, so so one Scorpio Chica, the only way you're going to get two guys to have a threesome is if they're brothers or best friends. Pretty much. You said what now? The only way she's going to get two guys to have a threesome is if they're brothers or best friends. Why do you say that? Because most guys have an um, insecurity about having a threesome with another guy. You know, I don't want nobody's dick to touch mine and you know, that type of thing. And so generally, the only time that they'll do it is if they are close, like, you know, as in a relationship. So they already know, like, this dude ain't gay. It's not going to be no gay shit. They don't have those type of questions. And they have, and they're, you know what I mean? They have, a, they trust each other enough that they don't, they're not worried about what the other one might do that might be considered, you know, quote unquote gay. I mean, I mean when I, I'm going to, you know, some, 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 some parties, and I've seen dudes who weren't like best friends or besties. You know, I saw. Well, them you're going talking in. about you're talking about like lifestyle shit, and lifestyle shit's a whole different ball game. I mean, but I, yeah, I mean, I've seen some dudes that weren't that wasn't pals that was in there like, yeah, we about to you know put in some work and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you go to a lifestyle event, you, you know, you can definitely make that happen at a lifestyle event. Because again, I still think that like the thought process is is a little different. Than the mm -hmm. average dude, mm -hmm. um, so you can make it happen that way as well. So for but you know like Mama B says, um, I've done that and it wasn't all that. It really so here's the thing. Not only do you have to get the two dudes to be agreeing and consenting to do it or whatever without worrying about who's gay and whose dick is touching who, you also got to make sure that the two dudes are really there for you. Right, because the only way that 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 you're gonna enjoy it, one Scorpio Chica, from a female point of view, you're a dude, so you can't twist your face up like that. You was there to do what you was doing, but from a female point of view, the only way you're going to really enjoy it is like if they're both there for you, because then they will both make sure that you're good the entire time. Right, they're both going to 
you lavish you with attention and touch and kiss and you know all those kind of things if they're not there both to make sure that you're having a good time then basically it's just a lot of fucking work like <laughs> i i've had three or two kids it just felt like a, fuck, a lot of fucking work right it just like the whole entire time you don't get a break you either fucking or sucking something the entire time <laughs> this situation is happening right so um, I've compared them and I know how it works if the, if the two dudes are there because they're like, yeah, we want to make you feel good. We want to please you. We want to make you happy. It's going to be so much of a different experience than if the two dudes are just like, yeah, we'll do it. Then I promise you, your, your jaw is hurting, your back hurt, everything. It's just a lot of fucking work. Um, she said maybe it was just the wrong guys, Mama B says. Um, so Sex on the beach is only good in the water. Oh, I'm over it. I'm just not in the, it's not in the cards. Well, you know, my motto in life is never say never. You know what I mean? <laughs> I never say yeah. never. Never say never. But sometimes never can be just not going to happen. Not gonna happen. I never you say got never. <laughs> What's the next question? You'd be surprised at what could happen. Some things could, some things just can't happen. Okay. This one's going to be, let's see how you do with this one. How would you describe yourself in five words? How would I what? How would you describe yourself in five words? Describe myself in five words. Um... Describe myself. I want all of my audience. I want all of the audience. I want to see your five words. How would you describe yourself in five words? I would say five words to describe myself. I would say I am hardworking. Right. That's that's a word. That's a word. Hardworking. Um. I am. We're gonna say hardworking, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm hardworking. I'm resource. Reso How do you say the word? Resourceful? resourceful. 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 Okay, I'm resourceful. Um, you're charismatic. Who? Charismatic. Okay, I'm that. I'm Carex. Carex. I'm what? Carex. Carex. <clears throat> charismatic. Do you know what it means? I know what it means. I just can't. I'm, I'm trying to say it. Charismatic. You're charismatic. I'm that. Um, I think I'm I'm probably funny sometimes, but even when I don't try to be funny, <laughs> but I think I'm funny, but people say that I'm funny, and I don't even be trying to be funny. And I think I am I'm loving. I'm loving. loving. I'm, I'm loving. Wait, wait, don't say listen, don't. No, don't make that face. I'm loving, damn it. I'm a loving that, person. That, that fifth word is questionable. I'm, I'm a loving person, okay? I'm very loving. I can probably, I'm loving, I'm caring, uh, I'm, I'm understanding, I'm non judgmental. You, uh, you know, I'm a lot of I'm a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Why, why should I just lying. stop at five? I'm not going to stop at five. Those are the things that I am. Now you're just lying. But let me read. Sneezy says, that she is honest, loyal, passionate, caring, intelligent, and so much more. Okay, let me tell you what I am. I'm open-minded. Okay, I see that. I'm non-judgmental. Okay, I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. You're two I, for two um, right now. You're huh? two for two. You're two okay. for two right now. Keep going. <laughs> I'm honest. Are you two for two? I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that one. I am. Um, hmm. I'm fun. Excuse me? I'm fun. Fun? Yeah. I'm a party hmm. all by myself. Okay, I I I'll give you that. You you're, you're probably I I would you seem like you would be fun. And I am. Can I 
compassionate. Okay. I mean, that's not a, that's that I, I'll give you that list. That that list that 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 list is pretty fair. It's a pretty fair list. It's a pretty fair. Right. List. You don't know if I'm fun or not. I don't know. I mean, you're. I mean, you're fun. I would imagine. You know what I'm saying we've never like really like hung out, hung out. You know what I'm saying. So I would, I would imagine you're fun. You would seem like you're fun. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and I don't know. Find out. Are you fun? Like what kind of fun? Listen you see, like you would like, you like to laugh and shit and, and tell jokes all the time. I don't know. I do not tell jokes. That's the first thing. I you don't tell, tell jokes. jokes. People just you like you said. I I re saying some real shit and people think it's funny, but I don't know any jokes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what it is. Let's see what what are people saying. Okay, Jai says, um, compassionate, funny, empathetic. Oh, I'm empathetic, loyal, and intelligent. Mama B says, smart, happy-go-lucky, sweet, beautiful, crazy, and fun. I can agree to that list, Mama B. Um, see, Mama B says she don't tell jokes. She be serious. <laughs> Dude, that, I don't even know any jokes. Like, I literally don't tell jokes. <laughs> you be telling jokes. You are be telling jokes. Maybe, maybe, maybe they just come across as jokes. How about that? Maybe that's what. Maybe they do, but I, I don't tell jokes. Like, I'll usually be serious as a heart attack, and you just think it's funny. Um, Rel Davis Lucas says, compassionate, intelligent, non-judgmental, inquisitive, and selfless. Oh. I like that list. Inquisitive, I like that word. No, that, that's a good list. No, that's a good list. That's a really did you, good did list. you find that exercise hard to, to name five things that, that, are, that would describe you? Uh, I wouldn't say hard, but you know, sometimes, you know, like, you know, I have to sit there and like think like, you know, what am I like, what do I describe myself as? I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Something that you don't, I don't just sit there and do all the time. So yeah. Okay. Mama B says, she says it in a way that's funny, but she'd be being a smart ass, her and Brian. <laughs> oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Absolutely. And that's I what I was trying to get about. at. I say it in a way. That I'm serious, but I don't really want to hurt your feelings. So I'm gonna try to say it in a light way, but I mean what I'm saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> what else does anybody got? What else? Okay. Nobody else wants to tell us their their five words. We'll see. We'll we'll see. And we will learn. Oh, you you sing it? I still love I mean, you too, girl. I still love you too. Okay, how about this one? Well, you guys can still name your five things if you're still really thinking about it. What would you change about your life if you knew you would never die? Say that one more time. What would you change about your life if you knew you would never die? If I would never die? What would I change about my life if I yeah. would never die? Yeah. Um... Shit, if I would never die, what would I change? Like I would change anything. I would be mad. Listen. <laughs> what would I change? I probably would be if I could never no, I would no I would, I don't know, because I would say I would take more risks, but I pretty much do that anyway. But if I you know no, what you I would, are you know, established you don't take risks in the love department, so <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying no, that's not true. I'm not saying that I won't, but I'm just not, you know, like if there's a, a shallow end of the pool and a deep end of the pool, like I'm going to swim. That's not taking risks. Just I'm going to swim in the middle. I'm going to swim in the middle of the pool like this. I'm not going, I ain't, man, listen, I'm not going to jump all the way over there. You know, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Mama B says she would definitely take more risk. If I knew I would never die, I would eat whatever the fuck I wanted whenever I wanted because I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. Yeah, I would probably go parasailing or some shit. If I knew that I wasn't going to die, and if I knew I couldn't be eaten by a shark or something, I would definitely go parasailing. No. Yeah. I didn't say you couldn't be eaten by a shark. I said you wouldn't die from it. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I would probably go, I would go parasailing. Yeah, you walking around for the rest of your life with one arm and one leg and shit. Because nah, you decided I'm not, to go parasailing. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah I would go parasitic. <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. wait, or, wait. So I want to hear about these people are saying they would take more risks. What are these more risks that you're not taking? I want to hear more about these risks. What are these more risks? Yeah, like if you if you're not going to die, right, and you can't, let's say you couldn't die, right? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna go get on. Go get in a NASCAR and try to drive like 400 miles an hour in, in like the Indianapolis 500 or something. You know what I'm saying? Like you can just do more shit. Like if you know. Well, that wait, you you're die. not worried about the fact that like you can't, you won't die, but you can't get fucked up. Like like I said, you wanna. You want well, to say, well, okay, well, like rainbow? okay. When you say when you say not die, I'm thinking I'm just not gonna die. You ain't in me. I didn't say I didn't say you would never. You get add, so now I you're said, adding I in. You're, I said never well, die. Okay, well, well, you're you're so you're saying that now. So when you think of not die, I'm thinking I ain't gonna be injured. I ain't gonna be nothing. I'm just gonna. You didn't say you get something happen to you, and you still can be walking around with one leg. If that's the case, then shit, I probably you wouldn't take as many risks because you now. You not die and be walking around for the rest of your not die life with one leg. <laughs> Who wants to do that? Okay, let's that, see. That's not even. Um, Mama Bay says even. I might join here in a little. Y'all asking questions that's way too hard, too much to text. But you can not Yeah, you could end up with like a total brain injury. You still be alive. Yeah, you could have like a total TBI. No, see, that's the, that's the thing you said. So when you say not die, I'm thinking like, okay, I'm never gonna die. I'm gonna go ahead and do some risky shit. But you talking about where you can still be injured, that's no fun. Like, then it's like, what's the point? See, that's the problem. Just... When you're not when you not comprehending what I said, it said never die. It didn't say anything about anything in between here and there. Okay, well, you know, okay, you that's like that's super technical. If that's the case, like then you just walk around, you know what I'm saying, being regular me, but just living forever. Like who wants to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the but risk. You know of not I, think, I think that like people who you know like you would not worry about like heart disease and you wouldn't worry about high blood pressure and shit because none of that's gonna kill you, right? So that's why I was thinking of like maybe you would eat differently, maybe you wouldn't exercise as much because all of it you wouldn't have to worry about getting cancer and shit because you're not gonna die, right? From any of those things. Right now, I feel like that's the stuff we worry about. We worry about I wanna make sure I don't get COVID and die. I wanna make sure my you know, I don't get heart disease and shit like that and die. Um, Ralph Diva, that's a good answer. Ralph Davis, I'm sorry, says slow down and enjoy life more. I agree, Mama B. A lot of these things you can do now and um enjoy the little things more. You feel like you're enjoying the little things right now? Um, probably not as much as I should or as much as I could. Um, so like I mean, I've slowed down a few times this year. But it's, you know, it's always been, it's been because of something. Like, it's because of the, you know, the cancer. It was because of the COVID two times, you know what I'm saying? So those are the times that I've had to slow down. But I don't think I've ever slowed down just to slow down because of, you know, because I just want to do something fun. You know what I mean? That makes any sense? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so you are going to die at some point. So maybe you should learn how to enjoy the little things more. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a, again, I guess I'm going to try to do that this year. You, like, go, you want to enjoy them while you can enjoy them. Because no point in enjoying the little things when you're 85 and you don't even barely remember what's going on any fucking way. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, true that, true that, true that. True that. The next question is... What little curse could you put on someone that would eventually drive them insane? A curse? Yeah. That you can put on somebody? Yeah. I don't know. A curse that you can put on someone that I would think drive like I would them. curse somebody with like bad hair day forever. Like right? <laughs> that would drive a woman insane if she could never get her hair the way she wanted to forever. Really? Yes. Even 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 if a woman wore a weave and she still couldn't get it right, even if she even if she like just no matter what happened. Yep, that would be your curse. I curse you to bad hair forever. Oh shit! So if I could curse somebody forever, mm, that would drive Mama them B crazy. Has a one. Well, what she said? She said they couldn't tell any lies to themselves or anybody else. Oh, that that that's like that that movie. Who was that movie? Liar, liar. Yeah, that shit was funny. 
that was but, fun. Like that, I think that would drive somebody insane. You know what? I think would drive them more insane that they couldn't lie to themselves than other people. I think it would be, uh, yeah, I mean, either one to me. I'm just, I would, I would curse somebody to the point where whatever, whenever they try to turn on, like whenever they try to go to sleep, like a light would just always flick on and off all the time. Like anytime you try to go to sleep, the, a light would just start flickering all the time. Well, you and you could like, somebody to death then, right? Cause you know, if you don't get enough sleep, you die. Then listen, that, but, but think about it. Every time you try to go to sleep, a light just started going on and off all the time, and you couldn't go to sleep. Yeah, that would that would be my thing. I'm like, every time you try to go to sleep, that's what's going to happen. Oh, so yeah. You, so you want somebody to die? I'm not saying I want them to die, but they said I'm I just mad as hell. Yeah, that would be like, that would Ooh. be. Ray Shonda said the curse would be to feel the pain you give to others. Fuck. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a rough one. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> ouch. That's all I would be saying. You know all, all day you long. Start living right. All them ouches, you need to start living all, right. All day, I'd just be like, look, ouch. God damn it. Ouch. <laughs> ouch. All day. That's what he said. All day. That would be funny. That 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 and that's a good one. That's a good one right there. That, that's a good. One. <laughs> that is a good. That, that's a good. One. That's a good one right there. That's a good. One. <laughs> that would be a good. One. Okay, y'all y'all have some devious minds. I see. They say you need to do better, Paul. If you if it's gonna ouch that much, you need to do better. You know, you know, we all listen. Let he so we are doing without it. sin let him cast the first stone. Oh, sorry. Okay. They that? said, What little curse could you put on someone that would eventually drive them insane? I got one. As soon as he get here, he got one. I've always had this. This has been the same one. May your socks always fall around your ankles and never stay up. <laughs> That's irritating as hell. <laughs> yeah, but. But nowadays, most people don't even wear pull-ups. Yeah, they wear ankle wear, socks. <laughs> most people wear ankle socks. Maybe they slide down off your foot. Oh, yeah. You, I hate when they slide off your foot in your shoe. Every time you walk in your oh. damn shoe, your sock go in your shoe. Well, that, yeah, yeah, that, that is <laughs> that is irritating. That is irritating. Like, <laughs> or, what if, or, what if, or what if you came back as an inanimate object, like a toilet? I was just going to say a toilet. Really? What did you, you know, because like when I was, so when I was, so when I was, so I would yeah, always I think that, to say that Mama B. <laughs> so I was thinking like, so I was always thinking like, like say like, you know, people, when they say like, when you die, you go to hell or something like that. Like, I was always thinking like, what if hell is not the hell that we think it is? Like, what if hell is like, like, depending upon what you do in life or how you live your life, you come back as some inanimate <laughs> object, like a statue. And then like, but you can feel everything but you're just a statue. So you feel it getting cold and wet. Or what if you came back as a toilet? Now you go to burn shit. And then someone just shit and piss in you every day, all day. Like that would be. Y'all minds are a little off. That means all the shit you gave everybody is coming right back to you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nasty? Can you imagine coming back as like a toilet and, and being in the men's room and someone just pisses on you and you can feel that shit? Oh my God. That's fucking horrible. Don't have too much time I, to think. Obviously, I mean, these, these thoughts are a little off for me. <laughs> I just want to say. Yeah. yeah. Here's another one. May your gas light always be empty, so you always trying to fill up, and your tanks are already still full. So now you're wasting money and gas. It's still shooting out your car. That's, that's that would be. That, that, that would be that's weird. That's a weird. After a while, though, you would just stop. You know what I mean? Now. You just run out of gas and you never even know it because you're like, I'm not gonna keep doing this, and the damn thing is just broke, right? So you <laughs> depends on your car. You just be asked out. Okay, I think we're learning a little too much about you two with this little curse exercise. I so. mean, I would, I would, I would, I would just. So, but know. what would be an inanimate object that you would be cool becoming if in your next life? Nothing. I mean, anything you I'd come cool back at. I'd be cool being like a TV. I'd be cool being a door. 
a door. It gets cold and wet on the outside of the door. There cracks in the door. door no. Turn the oh on. hell no! Fuck okay, that! You know what he said? He said you gotta turn my handle. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody just put on the somebody put on the screen. I think somebody said men coming back as women. Oh my god! Just <laughs> bring it fuck. On. Did he say bring that. it on? He really thinks that he can cut it out. Listen, I listen. I'm gonna tell you right now. I think that I'm a very, very strong capable human being so much so that my nickname is superman but let me tell you this and i mean this shit wholeheartedly i would never want to come back as a woman i no fuck that just the fact that i would have to get a period every month alone in itself would drive me fucking crazy fuck that nope Ain't, mm -mm. no way you can dance fuck that brian you can handle a period Fuck that. Not me. Nah. I, I, would enjoy no. it. Like I can't handle it and I dance enough wouldn't enjoy it. Listen, let me tell you something right now. When I had COVID, I get nauseous and want to sleep all day. I can only imagine getting that shit like every month. Oh, hell no. Nope. I'm good. That would be horrible. That would be the um, worst Adeline thing ever. says, a cell phone because you'll always need me and you'll use me and will protect me. Unless you get lost or dropped off a goddamn time. That ain't no fun. Oh, uh, unless you come back, it's like one of them track phones. Eh? <laughs> or, or, or what if you run out of power and no one has a charger to charge your ass? Then you just chill. <laughs> you're just resting. Then you mad as a motherfucker. You hear me? Well, no, you mad, mad as, as a motherfucker. The phone is chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'd be mad as shit. Like, what the fuck? Listen, I think I could come back as like a TV. Mm. Or a mirror. A mirror? Yeah. Mirrors would be a mirror would be cool. Although I think that I think I think my other self lives in the mirror though. <laughs> I do. I do. I think my other self Why lives does in your other self live in the mirror, Paul? Um, because he be looking at me and shit. I can't explain it. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you okay, so like if you have a mirror here and a mirror right there. You know what I'm saying? In front of one another, and then you look in this mirror, but then you can see a whole bunch of other mirrors all the way down. You know what I'm talking about that? You know what I mean? So, so one time, like I did like this and put my hand down, and then like a couple seconds later, I saw the other hand way down there. I, don't worry about it. Paranoid. I was frightened. I was like, oh shit, something's gonna come out the mirror and get me. It was like the fifth dimension or some shit. Like I'd be You are that's my very shit. You're very weird. I just, I just want to put that. Yeah, I, yeah. Shit like that scares me. Yeah, I do. I ain't gonna. It's gonna be creepy. Okay, if you put a thousand people in a room with yourself, what would you be best at? What? Say that one more time. If you put a thousand people in a room with yourself, what would you be the best at? Starting the fight. What would I be the best at? This guy says, did room. you hear his answers? Tell him your answers again. I said, starting a fight. You would start a fight, big with a thousand people? He would be the best at starting a fight. Okay. Me, me, what I would be the best at is dancing. I would be the best dancer. That's what I am. Okay? Okay, what's, your, the best what's your next answer? <laughs> Excuse me? I would be the best <laughs> dancer. You... I'm just saying, I saw the TikTok with you dancing, and I think you should give like a listen, secondary answer. Listen, what I'm saying is we're not going to do that, because <laughs> listen, if you have not seen my TikTok dance video, then you need to go check it out. You need to get on over there and look at that, because what I'm yes. telling you is my dance moves Your daughter said, Dad, you cannot dance. Well, first of all, Bree, I don't, your opinion doesn't count right now because my dance moves are fire. Okay? It's what everyone to know. You know what I'm saying? My moves is like that. Uh, listen, That's all I'm saying. I didn't say your dance was a fire. I just said, what's your secondary answer? That's what I'm saying. I, that's, that's my answer. I'm, I'm dancing. I'm the best dancer in the room. Okay? Period. You put me in a room of a thousand people oh, yeah. that don't, you know what I'm saying, that don't know how to dance, and I'm going to be the best one. That's all I'm telling you. Okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm the best. Best dancer ever. <laughs> in a room full of a thousand people, you think you're gonna be the best dancer? Absolutely, hands down. 
Okay. Hands let down. Me, let, okay. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. Uh, I think I'm going to be the best at um, listening. Best at listening? Yeah. You I think, think so? I, people like to talk to me and people like to tell me what's on their mind and what their problems are and what they're thinking and what they're going through. And I'm always just like, really? Oh, okay. And I'm, you know, I'm going to be the best at listening. You, do you agree with that, Brian? What? That I would be the best at listening to people's issues? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> Brian always says that I encourage them. <laughs> But I'm like, I can't be rude and just be like, okay, thanks for telling me. Now I gotta respond and I gotta get back right and you I gotta, gotta know when to cut off. Like in I hop the other day. Oh. Tell, about tell us that story. Now, first tell of us all, that story. First of all, so but what I, again I told you people like sharing, right? So the waitress was cleaning the table next to us and all of a sudden she just started talking about how hot it was in the restaurant. Because here in, in Oklahoma, you know, we had, it was really cold. And then the last two days, it's gotten up to the 60s, right? So, you know, a lot of like restaurants and businesses, they've already turned on their heat because it was like 30s before that. So, and, and, and I hot, it was kind of warm. It wasn't like hot. I wasn't sweating, but it was warm. You know what I mean? And she was like, oh, it's so hot in here. They need to turn there. She told me the whole story about how this person has to get that person's permission to turn the air on and this, that, and the third. And she's like, I mean, I'm sweating. It's I've only been here for an hour. And I was like, oh, yeah, girl. I said, I can understand. Because, you know, I really just don't like sweating in my lady parts. And so Why would you even say that? That's, that's the first thing. <laughs> so you encouraged her. Hot in here. I don't like sweating. That's I was identifying with what she was saying. And then it was like, once I said that, she was just like, yeah, because I'm sweating here and there. And now I talked to Brian and was like, I don't feel like I needed all that information. <laughs> and Brian well, said it was my fault. Yeah, because you encouraged her. If you would have just kept it simple and cut it all, it would have been that. But you went all into some extra stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating in my thighs. I'm sweating right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, because I'm fat. And <laughs> Whole thing. Glad we had our food already. A uh, sneezy says she would be best at making people smile and giving hugs. Mama B says I'm going to be the best at staying in my corner. That's true. She's, she's she's pretty antisocial when she wants to be. So she don't like being around a lot of people she don't know. So I, <laughs> I'll be the one like, come on, girl, let's go up in here and see what's going. I mean, we if we stuck in here with all these people, let's. Just, she's like, no, mm -mm, I'm good over here. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is a funny one. <laughs> I don't know. Like, is it too soon? Who are you shocked is not dead yet? You hear Bob Saget just died? He died? He died this morning. How old was he? 65. He was that old? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know he was that old. I didn't know he was that old. Bob Saget is the one that was on, what's that? What's on Full House. Full House, right? Yeah, so this yeah, week we yeah. lost... This week we lost um, Betty White, White Sidney Poitier, and now Bob Saget. Wow. Wow. But who are you shocked is not dead yet? <clears throat> Al Sharpton. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Al, Ro Al Roker. Al Why Roker. are you shocked? <laughs> what? Are you just picking fat people who lost weight? Like what? I wrote Jesse Jackson too. Oh, that's a good one, Mama B. Mama B said the Queen. Yeah, how old is she? I don't know. I think she's like a like a 90, 99. She's not ninety nine, is she? I don't know. Yep, she she know, looks old. So, <laughs> so every time you see her, you like she's still alive. Still, she's still kicking. James still and kicking. Tumay. Who's James and Tumay? Stop it. I don't know who, that, who is he. I don't know. Who he, you know who it is, Paul? Who? How many of Tumay's is there? You know James and Tumay? Uh, see? no. Paul don't know who he is. Thank you, because he tried to make me feel bad because I don't know who it is. Who is he? If it's what I'm thinking it is, it's the same. He, oh, the one that made Juicy Fruit? Yeah. That was my song. Juicy. Juicy Fruit. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. Juicy Fruit. 
One of the most famous. Oh. No, she said he's a jazz musician. So I think we're wrong. He said he's a, he's a jazz musician. He said he was a jazz musician. That's what she well, said. He died I guess today. we're wrong. Rest in peace, James and Tume, so whoever, like whoever you were. <laughs> okay, so you're shocked. So you're just shocked that all fat people who lost weight are not dead yet? <laughs> no, I I didn't really I didn't really associate them being fat. I just said <laughs> you just named two people who were fat that lost weight. <laughs> Well, I, mean, I didn't. I wasn't associated with that. I was just saying. Okay. I'm surprised they ain't there. Brian said he got one. This is my white side. Steven Tyler, the lead singer of Aerosmith. I don't know him. All the Mick Jagger. I don't. Oh. Everybody knows. Okay, know Mick Jagger. He did. I know Mick Jagger. I'm surprised Bobby Brown is not dead yet. Hey, you leave my cousin alone. He's fine. You leave Bobby alone. Right. But but Bobby Brown, I feel like if anybody was gonna go, he was gonna go before Whitney and Bobby. Um. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I mean, it's always the wild ones who are still here, and the good, and some of the good ones are. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, this is what I'm saying. That's why I just live my life how I want to. Because guess what? The nice right. ones. They. They. Ain't nobody got time for them. Okay. What you? Mean? You are Rolling Stones. It says you are being held at gunpoint. What do you say to get out of the situation? What? Don't shoot? I don't know. I that's don't... not gonna. That's not gonna help. <laughs> I mean, what would your mama say? Um, I don't know. It just depends. I, if you're held at gunpoint, I think it would all really depend on. See? I think it would all depend upon uh, the situation. Maybe I don't. I don't. I don't really know. It depends on what they wanted when they held the gun to me. I, I don't know. What would you I, say? I don't, I don't... What would your mama say? What would your mama think? <laughs> he gonna he gonna try to appeal to the to their mom. Trying to try to, try to your appeal mom to that, yeah. what you're doing this know. to me right now. I want you with the audience. What would you say to get out of being held at gunpoint? Held at gunpoint. What would you say? Uh, don't shoot. Why? Oh, uh, we've already established that's not gonna help. So just don't say that. Like, look out! <laughs> look! Look behind you! Yeah. <laughs> Mama B, don't ask me where I came up with these questions. You know that my mom literally works 24-7. <laughs> and I have all kinds of weird-ass questions in my head. So, Jai says, I would say I have people who depend on me. They don't care about that. So do they. That's probably they're robbing your ass. I don't even know if that would... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to just tell them they probably got the wrong person. I don't even know if that would. I don't even know if if, if that would get it. Right, that would get like it. My done. name is Aloysius. That fuck him up. <laughs> what, what was that from? What was what movie was that at? That was in a movie, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Like, I forgot. <laughs> okay, I I gotta think about what would I say. I've been thinking about that sometimes because you know people. <laughs> when Mama B said she would say whatever it is, it wasn't me. <laughs> what do you say? Like, listen, listen, we can come up together. Just tell me what you're trying to do, and I'm sure I can help you. Like, <laughs> the Lorax. Rihanna said that was from the Lorax. Okay. I, I, I feel like I would just yeah be like, so what, what is it that we're trying to accomplish? Because um, I'm sure I can help you get whatever it is you tried to accomplish. Oh, yeah, because yeah, cause here's the thing, because I can get you some fake paperwork, like whatever we need. Let's just figure it out together. Like, Don't be rash. Well, I think, <laughs> I think at that point, if they pulled a gun on you, they pretty much already want what it is that they want. And you pretty much have it on you. So No, uh, they pull a, first of all, if they pull a gun on you, they don't know that you have it. They just are like less. I probably don't. Well, I always say right, like somebody, somebody trying they, to steal my identity. Like they're gonna be mad because they picked the wrong one, right? <laughs> mm. Come here, girl. I'm like, I ain't nobody. So, um, okay. What's the most useless fact you know? Um. That the human the, that the human head weighs eight pounds. <laughs> All heads weigh that. On an average, the human head weighs eight pounds. 
unless you have like a really good really, um i don't know i just know that the human head weighs eight pounds i know that they say hey jazzy say hi um um so what's the most useless fact you know what is the most um thank you owen that's my that's my god baby my god baby made an appearance for those who, who can't see us <laughs> um what is the most i actually probably feel like i know a lot of useless facts <laughs> the male wait a second the male sea lions male sea lions will rape penguins did you know uh, that? this that's true that is true this you is knew very that? true you knew that i did know that i did know that um i mean i know some other i know some 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 other animal fun facts but you know well, it's not i said the most useless is it useless we want to know if it's useless i mean it's useless okay brian has one it ain't that it ain't that serious but it's just i'm amazed at it titanic 2 is about to set sail this year yeah i heard i heard about that who's heard about getting that. on that boat it's taking the exact same route the other one did <laughs> i heard about Sneezy that. said a duck's quack does not echo <laughs> If you're an empty hallway, it does. Uh-huh. What? I think ducktails it can. Quack. They don't echo. But why though? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, come on, tell me some more useless animal facts. Why do you know so much about animals? Huh? Um, because that doesn't be no animal stuff. Like I know kangaroos, they're really, really strong. Yeah. And kangaroos. They will, if, if you approach them, right, or if a dog approaches them, they will go down in the water and grab your dog and hold it underwater and drown the dog. Or you. I know that. <clears throat> that kangaroos like to drown their victims? Yeah, and dogs too. They'll drag you in the water and they'll drown you. Dogs I know do that. that too? No, I'm saying a kangaroo will drag a dog oh. into the water and, and drown it. I know fun facts. I know animal <laughs> fun facts. I need you to know. Just, so I used to have a girlfriend. Her daughter, I mean, her mom, when she was younger, she, her punishment would be <clears> like <throat> she had to read the dictionary and she had to read encyclopedias and stuff. So she literally, like, we would just be sitting on a regular day. And she'd be like, hey, did you guys know today's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day? <laughs> would be like, what? Yeah, I always it, they always have some kind of crazy day like that. People are like it's national no underwear there's a whole day. Calendar. You, you can like, Google it like there's a calendar of like all of the national days and there's pretty much a national day for everything. Yeah, I know that like I know sometimes like there's like, like there's a national pancake day and I you know what I'm saying or something like that. And then like if you go to IHOP you get like free pancakes or something. Yeah. Like, free stand in the That's in March. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah. I don't, that's not that's not a useless fact though. We need to know if we can get free pancakes. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I love pancakes are delicious. They're like my favorite. They are. So, um, some small animals will sacrifice their young to save themselves. <laughs> that was a, a fact someone wanted to share with that, us. That's true. Did you know that that dogs eat? small animals like when they're born did you know that so i didn't know right and so we had a dog it was a little dog it's like the hot dog dog the dash i think is what it is and our cat had had kittens so we had the kittens like sitting in the basket in the basement and when we came back the damn dog had eaten all the damn kittens i was devastated i didn't know that's what they were going to do he was possessed he was <laughs> <coughs> by the yellow eye <laughs> <laughs> Yellow-eyed demon named Lilith. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, there's a day for everything. There's National Kiss Day and Hug Day and Cheesecake Day and like. So I have a girlfriend, and she still periodically will text me and be like, "Hey, today's National Peanut Butter Day." <laughs> I'll be like, "Girl, thank you for letting me know." <laughs> 
I'm scared. I am scared. I, you know, I don't. I have a thing about animals, right? I don't really like. I guess I don't really like animals. Like the more and more I think about it, I, I don't really like animals. <laughs> I don't know. I can I can deal with dogs. Oh, Sneezy says some fish can get seasick. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what fish how is that? that? How does that work for the never fish that get seasick? I ain't, I never knew that. They get banned from school. Got swim by that was the corniest joke. <laughs> Did you hear him talk about they get banned from school? <laughs> they got swim by themselves and try to figure it out. You know, um. Did you know that tilapia is a real fish? I feel like it's I have to I have to put this fact out here because me and Brian have these debates all the time about whether tilapia is a real fish. Tilapia, real. tilapia is not a real fish. There's tilapia no such is fish a real called fish. A it originates in Africa. Yeah. Where was it that 20 years ago? It's still my question. Just because it wasn't popular 20 years ago doesn't mean it didn't exist. I didn't say popular. I said you didn't hear about tilapia 20, 10 years ago. Years, I, say I don't years. know what's happening. My, my ring light is, is not cooperating with me right. right now. Yeah, they can, but I don't look this good. I don't look that good in this light. I need better lighting. Okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I like to have um like useless facts. I think that... I know a bunch of just can't think right now. You, you probably know a bunch of useless facts. You just can't think of them in this moment. Probably. <laughs> you know, Okay, what were you doing when you last lost track of time? Working. That's sitting on a toilet. Ew. <laughs> hey, do, do your legs ever no, go numb on the toilet? When I fall asleep, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, what? Why yeah, are you when falling I fall asleep? asleep on the toilet? Cause I'd be tired and I fall asleep on the toilet from time to time, and then my legs will go numb, and then that's how I'll wake up, and that's why that's how I will realize I've been on the toilet far too long. Thank you, Mama B. Mama B says all the time because I keep coming out and telling Brian that my legs be going numb on the toilet. He said that that is not natural, and that's not happening to nobody else but me. <laughs> my legs yeah, are going I, numb on the toilet all the time. Yeah, if I fall, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. How often do asleep. you fall asleep on the toilet, Paul? Uh, often, sometimes. Like when I'm really, if I'm really tired, I just, you know, yeah, and I fall asleep. And then my legs will go numb, and then I gotta, then my, then I wake my, then, you know, then I wake up. That's how I know I've been on the toilet too long. <laughs> you fall asleep. All Well, I guess she hit the wrong button, so she'll be back in a minute. So you guys bear with me. So you guys just got to talk to me. Uh, you guys have any questions that you guys want to answer or ask? You should ask those questions. Why everybody act like they want to be scared and act like they want to be all shy and ain't nobody want to talk? Well, ask the questions. Ask a question. They should be back any minute. I hope they come back because we got about another hour left on the show. Um... Yeah, so let me read some comments because I can see them now. Um, yeah, you're late. Uh, one, um, okay, here we go. Never mind. Hold on. Back in the box. Boom. My phone let me know. Okay, my bad. You hit the button, didn't you? I did. Her legs went to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I was trying to see if my phone was charging, and anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm back now. Um, Sneezy says another use of specs is some white sand beaches are made up of fish poop. That's really nasty. It's really nasty. Yo. I'm just walking on. I don't care. Brian said he just walking on it, so he don't care. Yeah. No, not yeah. We like sit on the sand at the beach. So what does it mean? On a towel. You don't think that sand kicks up on your towel? And uh, it's, you know, so what? 
I'm giving the water's coming off. Paul, they want to know what your TikTok <laughs> is. I think your this wall piece might not be working properly. Oh my, What's your my, okay, well, my well, my ticket is like I don't I have I don't really have it's like really nothing on my ticket. He doesn't have one of his you own, catch, do you? Right. No, so if you want to catch my funky dad's move, then go to my other IG page, first class boxing and fitness, and you're gonna see my tickety talk and you're gonna see my dance moves. I'm trying to tell you, I be busting the moves out there. So listen, don't get jealous when you see them. Don't try to copy my style or none of that. Just acknowledge the skills. When you see it, that's all I'm they saying. Don't, they don't know your background. That's what it is. I think you'll be safe. Exactly, B. Tell them, listen. No. Can you, man, listen. Can you t listen? Listen. I don't. I don't want to be all braggadocious, <clears throat> but nothing like now, that. I think, I think if you're gonna brag on something, you might want to brag on your singing more than your dancing. Listen. I'm not. Listen. I don't want to be braggadocious, but just for lot for to y'all, but for people to let you know, okay. That in high school, real real shit, me and Brian started the first step step team in, in, in high school. Did did we or did we not be? We did. Right or wrong? We did. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. So, so that's that's that. Then when me and Brian would get out there and bust our dance moves on the dance floor. I'm trying to tell you, you can't hold me on the dance floor, son. You know what I'm saying? We had a whole routine and everything. Stop playing with it. I don't know. My big ass was doing splits. Splits. I really was. Yeah, it really was. As big as he is, he was. He was straight doing splits. I'm not bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And then remember the remember the move that you would do when I would come and I would put my hand. My you put your hand like this. I put yeah. my foot in your hand and you throw me in the air. I do a backflip and land into a split. Yeah. Hey, stop. Hey. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to tell you. That's so not a So y'all was the first kid in play. I mean, was we wasn't the first, but we was we was out there though. Like we was we was we was out there for real though. We was out there. We was out there in the streets getting when it in. That? Like when like, was that? Um 91, like 91, 92 ish. We was yeah, okay. that was it. That was that's what we were doing back then. We was getting it in. Couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't tell me nothing. Okay, shit. next question. Let's go. Get it on. What is something that seemed 100% legit at the time? What? <laughs> Why do you respond to every question like I'm speaking another <laughs> language? <laughs> because I don't understand you. I, you said, what is, what is a legit? What, what is something that seemed 100% legit at the time? Maybe like what you're telling us about how you and Brian we had y'all dance moves there. That seemed one hundred percent legit at the time. Like you know, Listen, just... <laughs> our dance moves back then <laughs> were, un un were unparalleled by anything. We were we were the greatest dynamic duo in dance fucking history. Okay, yeah. look. Well, one Scorpio Chica says, I can't wait to see this. I actually won a few contests back in the day, circa 1984. So it sounds like she's saying she can get with you. Listen, listen. Nobody that's watching this show right now <laughs> wants to dare ba battle me or challenge me to a dance competition. Stop playing with yourself. Get the thoughts out your head. It ain't going to happen, okay? He's I so got serious moves. right now. <laughs> I got I got moves with you, man. You. I think this is one of those things where, like, if you don't believe it, who else will, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, is it, what is something that seemed one hundred percent legit at the time, and then you look back and you like that was whack? Um, this this fool says my first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. The first, what's like what's what I thought was legit. Um, when you hype yourself up to think that you're gonna win the lottery, when you go in there and you get your tickets, you're like, "This is this is the one. I know that this is the ticket. This is the one right here. And I'm about to win." And then the next day, you like, "No I ain't oh, I shit!" One. Like you didn't you didn't even get a number, not one number, <laughs> not single, not one single number that you get right, but you just knew. That that was gonna be the ticket that you knew that you was gonna win. You ain't with shit. You know, I got one. When I was younger, somebody told me that if I could make my two cheeks touch each other on the inside, if I could make my cheeks touch, that I would get dimples. 
that seemed 100% legit to me. I walked around with pencils stuck in my cheeks. I never got my cheeks to touch, first of all. And that's probably why I still don't have dimples to this day. Oh, yeah. That, no, that's not going I don't think that's going to work. You can't do it right, but if you could, you could get the dimples if you did it. So, I, don't, I don't I don't think I think your cheeks would hurt, but I don't think you would <laughs> really get dimples or no shit. I don't I know. I know what seemed one hundred percent legit to you was when you got that eye infection trying to get them green eyes. That definitely <laughs> seemed real at the time. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I mean we can talk like when I like every like I told you, like when I was younger, like every year, you know what I'm saying? Um I think I told y'all this before, like every year when I was little. Um, I always thought that whatever costume that I put on, that I would have that superhero's power, because that shit seemed real. But that never really worked out for me, uh, to the best of my ability, at all. Um, I thought I was Flash. <laughs> kind of running from a car. And it was 100% legit to you that if you put that costume yeah. on, you was going to soak up listen, their their powers listen, and become them. Listen, you. Listen, you couldn't have told me nothing. I thought I was going to be a superhero for real when I put on the costume because Listen. that's what they did on the on the on the show. They put the costume on and then they would have superpowers. So I thought that I, I thought that I would have superpowers. Yeah. You didn't have nothing that was one hundred seemed one hundred percent legit to you. None of our viewers <laughs> none of our viewers have any um Anything that's, that seemed 100% legit to you at the time? Piggybacking on what's this? What about said? five links, right? <laughs> five links and all those pyramid things seemed 100% legit at the time. <laughs> no. Now, I will say, no, listen. Now, the thing, always the thing about those pyramid things, it's not that they that they aren't legit and it's not like they don't work, but it's just the, the only thing that, that happens is in order to get the money all the money that you need you have to 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 have money to make money so you would have to it's buy not, into I it even know if it's that. i think it's that you have to sign up so many other people to actually make right, money. Listen. no listen if you if you start okay for instance if you know people and you try to have to sign up a whole bunch of people or whatever that was one way to do it but if you already let's say had ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars or something like that to already get you to that executive level or whatever then you're already buying into it so then you're able to trickle it down and that's how you, and that's how the people that was really really top of the company end up making the money and then they would just try to sell you yeah into but the, the way fact that they explained it to you seemed like this was about to be so <laughs> Like I'm about to be I mean, rich in yeah. a minute, right? The person on top was. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they did. I mean, I did the file. I did the file link thing for, for for a little bit, so I, I get it. I remember. Yeah, that. I had, I had they, a, they a that. guy I was dating swore by five links for a good while. Um, Mama yeah. B says paparazzi. Paparazzi is for I don't know how much the men know about it, but paparazzi is a jewelry type of pyramid thing. All the jewelry is five dollars, and you know, and it's the same premise. You get these people to sign up under you, you're gonna make all this money. And not to say again, there aren't people who did make it, but the way it's sold to you is that you're about to be independently wealthy. Like everybody's about to be independently wealthy, right? <laughs> yeah. You you said you had one. You changed your mind? Uh-uh. Okay. What is something that got old really fast? My first marriage. <laughs> this guy says my first marriage again. You cannot give my first marriage as your answer to all the questions. If it's true, I can. <laughs> something that got old really fast. A lot of songs get old to me really fast, right? Because they play the same five songs 15 times in a row every month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So I'll be like, yeah, I'm over that song. I used to like it. <laughs> now you it's a no for me. You def definitely songs get old real fast. Or sometimes like um sometimes food places can get old real fast if you go to them too much. You know what I mean? What wait, what'd you say? I said food places, like if you oh, go food. to them sometimes. 
that food was like food certain Popeye's food places you go to the sandwich got old real fast i mean his thing that got old super fast because when i had it i'm like it it no. wasn't even that delicious it was delicious. It wasn't even that delicious. did you get it with no. the spicy mayo listen what i'm telling you is what this is this is the part i guess about that whole chicken sandwich thing that confused me popeye had already had a chicken sandwich i had already had the sick i had already had the chicken sandwich then all of a sudden like the very next day it was like this chicken sandwich craze i'm like i don't get it i just had the sandwich the day before listen they and it wasn't it. when i tell you that chicken sandwich nah, it wasn't. now we'll say i don't like spicy food right so i got it one time with spicy mayo one time without it. I will say that the, I think that the spicy mayo is kind of what makes it so good because when I had it without the mayo, I was like, eh, it's just a chicken sandwich. But that mayo the sandwich picked it up good. a notch. But the sandwich was not that good to the point where people was outside picketing no, and no, all this I just want to, I want to put this out there that there's nothing edible that, that is that good that I'm going to sit in line for hours and be fighting over and shooting over and shit to eat. Like it's nothing for me. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't that delicious. It was. It was. It was good, but it wasn't. It wasn't like stand outside and you know, in the line for. Like, nah, no. So what else got old real fast? I don't know. I gotta think about y'all. What do y'all think? What does yeah. the audience think? Being an adult got old fast. Adult. <laughs> I'm so over. Adulting, I pass on adulting. <laughs> uh, I would, I would agree, uh, but I ain't trying to go back to being a kid, though. I tell you that. <laughs> but, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Well, Sneezy says text messaging in the beginning of a relationship gets old really fast. No, I don't give it that. I disagree. I disagree. Yeah, I don't mind texting. Of course, that's not texting the only thing I want to do, but like, I don't mind texting. <laughs> texting is fun. Texting is great. Texting is fun. Because someone, someone smart just decided, you know what? People just can't be on their phones talking all day long. It would get real noisy. It get yeah. it would get real noisy in the workplace. So let's figure out a way that people still can communicate, right? Without without it being so noisy in the workplace, so someone invented text messaging, and that's what happened. I gotta go. Ahead. Mama B says I'd rather talk on the phone, but let me tell you, I do I do applaud the person that decided every fucking thing doesn't require a phone call. Like let me just we can just text this shit. Piggybacking off of that. Okay. Unwanted <clears throat> video calls. That got, got old a... real fast. Yeah, I don't like. Do I people mean, video call you like from Facebook and and even Instagram? You can video call. Like, do people have people video called you that you didn't ask for? Like, all of a sudden you're like, what's that noise? And you hear your phone. You like, who the hell is this calling? Who is this? Like, why did they think they could just call me on video call? That's definitely happened to me. Not, not, not no, not no random video call. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, well, you like no you. one is this thing. Like no one has ever taken it upon themselves and said, you know what? I'm just gonna video time this thing like nonstop. Really? So you never had a chick that you might have been inboxing or whatever, and then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, she just was like, I'm a video call this nigga. <laughs> like never? Oh my god, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, I don't answer. I think it, I think it, I think it probably happens, probably happens more often with women to women than men to than women to men. I've never had it. Jai said that's like popping up, popping up in somebody's house. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Like what? Nah. <laughs> like what? I've the, never and had I, it. And I instantly get added to them. Like what the hell made them think they could asked. just video call me? <laughs> asked, we're not here yet. What are you doing? <laughs> I see you. We just we, we ain't there yet. You're rushing it. You're rushing. Now I like you no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. You fucked up the church. One Scorpio up. chicken says not random, but I like video calls. Sneezy says, I like video calls sometimes. People doing pop-ups, I don't like that shit. <laughs> Here's the thing. First of all, you probably need to let me know ahead of time you want a video call. Because I I, I know y'all think that this magic just happens. <laughs> but when I'm around the house, I don't be cute. <laughs> you funny. Don't say whatever. You married to me, so you're supposed to 
supposed to have always think I'm cute. I mean, in general, I don't walk around my hair standing up on my head. Just because I have a strict rule that I just think that, like, you know, just because you're in a relationship don't mean your man or your woman want to see you looking crazy 24-7. So, but in, but still. And I don't have clothes on. Thank you, Mama B. Let them know. And I'm going to be naked. So, <laughs> you need to let me know ahead of time. <laughs> Be okay. We have to schedule a video chat with me because <laughs> my family knows that when they video call me, I'm probably not gonna have no clothes on. I just hold the phone up, but they they don't even ask anymore because they already know that like I'm not gonna have any clothes on. Um, but yeah, so video calling without permission got old real fast. Very fast. Right. But Paul said it never got old to him because he ain't never had that problem. Okay. Not, not a, like I said, a, not a, not an unrequested pop up call. Like, no one's ever just said, you know, just jumped in my, jumped in my thing and like, hey, I'm gonna call this nigga unexpected. That's really? Like You're lucky. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, trust our friend. Our friendship got close real fast. <laughs> Listen, I'm just okay. Anyway, I told you we real friends. You seen me naked before? That's the only thing I can tell you. <laughs> If you haven't seen me naked, we're probably not real friends. Like we acquaintances, associates. Okay. Well, and you know what? I'm gonna talk about that in a second when we finish this question because that it somebody put a post on Facebook that they said that I don't know, do guys do this, right? But the question was about why do women have three, four, five, six, seven best friends? Like when did it become like usually your best friend? It's like this one person, right? And everybody else is like my good friend or my close friend. So when did it become a thing where like you could have a number of best friends? Are, and are we doing that because they really are best friends or just makes people feel good to say best friend? I don't know. If I had to say anything, maybe. Um, I think um, probably because... Um, I, I think, okay, so back in the day, I, I would say that when you had your one best friend or whatever, and you were able to go out with that one person, um, you guys were real, real cool and were able to connect. But I think when COVID happened and everybody was stuck in the house for a while, I think, you know, video calling and people were doing like uh, those on, like Zoom parties and stuff yeah. like that. So I, so I think that's I think I think during that time when you when people weren't being weren't able to go out as much, let's just say your second or third string best friend or friend that you were talking to, you know, kind of like y'all probably probably became a little closer because everybody was Zoom calling. So you probably talked more with that person because everybody was stuck in the house as opposed to so y'all was out just hanging. All stuck in the house, didn't you talk to your best friend more? Huh? If that's the case, how come while we were stuck in the house, didn't you just talk to your first string, your best friend more? I mean, I, I, what I'm saying is you probably did that too, but now the second and third string people uh, end up, you know, joining in the posse, and you probably end up just talking to people a little bit more than you normally would have during, during the pandemic time. Okay, I mean, one Scorpio assume. Chica says, I have a very small group and they're all my BSGs, best sister girls and one guy. So then if you're saying that, Paul, <clears throat> do you think that social media makes us feel closer to people than we in reality really are? Yep. Uh, some, I would say sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I mean, because... I've seen like memes where it's like, you know what? We've been Facebook friends for years. I watch your kids grow up, right? People that you maybe have never even necessarily met or hung out with, but because we post pictures of our family get togethers and because we post my kid with the kindergarten, now my kid graduated from fourth grade, it does kind of feel like these, I, I know these people kids. I know their family. Oh, happy birthday, mama. Does that make us feel closer to people than we really are? Go ahead, Brian. That was the question. Some of us got real old real quick. Them first day of school pictures. God damn, y'all just get on my fucking nerves with that bullshit. Okay, so we had to go back to the question. <laughs> uh, first day of That's because his kids is pretty much grown. They, they ain't doing it. 
Mama B, what are you saying no to? No, you don't feel <clears throat> closer to people because of social media. Miss Crownlock said that's true. I love the first day of school pictures. I don't mind the first day of school pictures either, but I think it's because we're moms too. Like I think men in general just don't care about no, shit like that. You're wearing the same uniform in a different year. I don't care. <laughs> They had a new hairstyle and I can't shoes. tell if, he, if the kid got taller or not. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's got over real quick. <laughs> what's got over real quick was that <laughs> on these on these dating sites the people will be on. I don't even see your kids on this dating site. I'm not dating your fucking kid. Yeah. That, to, yeah, I never would. That was a no, I, yeah, I never, like I never, I never, I never understood that either. Like certain, there's there's always certain rules or things that you should or should not do when you're on a dating site, especially when it when it in regards to posting pictures and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just certain rules that you that you need not do. And if you don't know those rules, learn. Then maybe you need to get with somebody who can tell you those rules before you go and get on a dating site. So. It'd be the headshot, then it'd be a picture of him in their, in their real nice outfit, then they'd be half naked, then it's their kid. Like, how, you get, how did we get to that? What the hell? Yeah. Because they want you to see all because they want you to see all sides of them. Because not only am I a freak in the sheets, I will see them a lady in the them. streets, but I'm a mom too. You can tell me about no, 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 nothing. No, no. Again, if you're when you're on a dating site, there's certain things, there's certain rules. Like no one no one wants to know that. Like it's okay, like if you're in the questions, if you're talking and you say, So do you have children? They say, Yeah, I have children, do that type of thing. But if you're on a dating site, you're there to to get someone's attention. So putting your children in a, on a dating site app is not a good not really a good way to <clears throat> You lying, yeah, Mama B. You mean you don't post them on a dating site? Okay, wait a minute. Sneezy says, I have six best friends who all serve different purposes in my life, but I have one best friend who knows everything about me. So, so, so I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Because I ahead. had a question about that. So, so okay, so, so, when, okay, even to that, to address that question, she says she has six best friends. They all Read it again. They all mean something they to all, her. They all has, serve different purposes in her life, but she has one best friend <clears throat> who knows everything about her. So I guess the question would be, so, so do those six that know you or all mean something to you, do they know that they're not the number one best friend or do they individually think that they are the best friend? But truth be told, they're not the best friend because you've got one best friend who knows everything. And if that one best friend knows everything, what does not qualify those others that they don't know everything but this one does? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The thing is about Wash, while we're waiting for her to answer, the thing is, is that you have to know the people who are around you, right? So, and, and, and sometimes it's not nothing that qualifies that doesn't qualify. I'll use Mama B, for example, right? <clears throat> Me and Mama B are super close. We tell each other a lot of things about our lives and stuff like that. But there are some things that I don't tell Mama B just because I don't know that there will be a reason to tell her. Meaning, Mama B has never been married. So I don't really know, like, I could tell. I, it's not that I haven't ever told her any issues that I'm having with my marriage, but in general, like, I don't know how much she would be able to help or offer that situation because she ain't never been married, right? So just some stuff just doesn't apply to the person that you're talking to. Not that there's an issue with them per se. It's just that it just doesn't apply. If you, so if you have a friend that's never had any children, it's probably not going to be helpful for you to talk to your friend that's never had any children about the issues that you're having with parenting, right? Because... They can't really relate. They can they can be a good friend and listen. And they could be like, man, that's fucked up, you know. Or then maybe they can offer to babysit, but in general, they don't really know firsthand what it is that you're talking about. They might. I get it. I can dig it. So some sometimes it's just again, it's not anything personal or to slight that person. It's just that like you really can't. It doesn't apply. So what's the point? Um, or if you have, if, if I, I go to church, right? 
So I go to church every, every Sunday. It will be no point in me calling my friend that's like, girl, ain't I'm not going to nobody's church. I don't even know if it's a God. Doesn't mean that I would not be friends with this person, but it's no point in me calling that friend to tell them about what spiritual warfare I feel like I'm going through this week. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Um, Sneezy says, they all know their place in my life. Two of them, we grew up together. The others we met in, in college. Mm. Um... Yeah, so I don't, to me, it's odd. To me, though, it's odd, like, when you have that that number of friends and then all the friends don't get along, right? I've never had that type of experience. Like, I really need for all my friends, y'all don't have to be besties, but I need to be able to call all of y'all into the same space to celebrate me during my month-long birthday, <laughs> right? <Okay. laughs> um, Sneezy says, yes, Ebony, you're correct. It is more about the knowledge and experiences that they give. Yeah, so that's, it's not usually, I mean, but every now and then you, you have a girlfriend that you know this girl talks, you know what I mean? And that's okay. I don't love her any less. I have just come to know that this girl talks, so I'm not about to call this girl and give her my most intimate personal details because I know she talks. Mm, I get it. Um, one Scorpio Chica says, me and my tribe have been through a lot in life, and thank God we have had each other. I don't have a lot of family as they become family. <laughs> Mama B said, you're going to come, but you're just not talking to everybody. And that's fine. Again, I don't need y'all to be besties. But I think it's weird like when I can't just have everybody in the same room. So Mama B and T, right, they have this weird energy. They've never met in person. I think if they met in person, they be, would be, you know, fine. But they've never met in person, so they always have this weird energy because T is real possessive of me, right? So she's always like, you with her again? Why, you know, <laughs> so it's a very weird thing. So now Mama B, at first, you know, she was trying to joke it off or whatever, but now she's like, I just don't want to be where she is because I feel like it's going to be some shit. And I'm like, y'all going to cut the shit. You know what I mean? So it's just the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's a whole thing between the two of them. My local bay and my and my my long distance bay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What is something you were surprised you could do? The splits. <laughs> Shock myself. Something I was surprised that I could do. Yeah. Um, I was I was surprised that I could that I that I that I could ski. That was pretty surprising. I didn't know I could ski. You could ski. Uh, black people ski. ski. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. There's black people. There's black. There's black people out here that can ski. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can ski. I can, <laughs> I can be on the slopes like this one. You on the slope? Yeah. On the slopes, I can ski. I was surprised. I was shocked. I was surprised. I was shocked. Uh, uh, I, I was surprised that I could go on after my mom died. Hmm. I know. I'm sorry. Wait, Brian said, way to bring it down. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm talking about snowing. You just, I mean, we went from here really to here, like real, real, oh, real, real fast. I used to always say that, like, oh my God, if my mom dies, I don't know what I would do. I just, I would just, you know, wither up and die myself. And I was surprised that I, I don't know. I guess I didn't really have the option. <laughs> but I thought that I was going to really be, I mean, not that it wasn't devastating, but I thought it was just going to be a thing that would kind of halt me. Um, I was surprised that it didn't halt me the way I thought it would. Um, one Scorpio Chica says, I taught myself to swim. Uh, Mama B <laughs> says, you were surprised that you could keep your chill this weekend. She went away. Um, for a funeral, you know how black folks get for funerals and weddings. <laughs> so she was surprised that she kept her chill this weekend. Um, mm -hmm. one Scorpio Chica says, "Me too, Ebony. Wow, today was her birthday. All right, now I cried all day. Keep it light tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm finished with that. Um, but yeah, you know, and um." praying for you on Scorpio Chica. It definitely doesn't get any easier. To me, it's felt like the longer it's been, the harder it's been, actually. So, um, I get it. 
Um, I'm very proud of you too, Mama B. She says she's very proud of herself. One thing, so one, so what's one thing that you're surprised you could do? <laughs> Personal moment. <laughs> Be a decent husband. Because my mother always said, My mother, my mother told me, you'll be a good father, but you're going to be a shit for a husband. I was like, yeah, man, how? My own mother told me that. <laughs> you know what? Congratulations. You know, that does need to be applauded because you are a good husband. You are a good dude. You're a good, you're a good dude, man. Good job, man. Oh, wait. Oh, good wait. Job. Ryan is here so we can get into that topic we talked about earlier. Well, I don't I don't remember. When we talked like about it. earlier, we're talking about earlier about holidays and birthdays and how men see them differently than women do. And I um, said Paul said that he doesn't understand why women have month long celebrations, so we had that whole thing. So I said we were gonna talk about we were gonna get into it about what else we get into? About how men and women are very different when it comes. First of all, I feel like men's approach to holidays. It's just negative to begin with, right? I hear so many men like Valentine's Day is for women. Like your approach to the whole holiday is negative but to really, start with. Like what? 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 Okay, listen to me. And let's be hunt. Let's keep it a hunch. What is it about Valentine's Day that has any fucking thing to do with a man? First of all, I don't know what low budget ass women y'all been fucking with. What does but Valentine's I Day? I celebrate my man on Valentine's Day the same way that I want him to celebrate me. Is that right or wrong? Mm -hmm. I have never sat back and was like, Valentine's is the day for you to show me love. Now, here's the thing. What I hate is the whole, we show each other love 364 days of the year so we don't have to do it on Valentine's Day. I call bullshit. Yes, we are supposed to show each other love all year long however yeah. however this is the day that is set aside to do just a little bit extra to go just a little bit above and beyond and i don't ask anybody i'm with to do anything more than i would so i don't know what to tell these men about the women that don't celebrate them on valentine's day okay here we go no I'm, you know what i'm saying okay go ahead I'm what you gonna say because we don't get shit. We can't even fucking have Father's Day anymore. That, this turned into dads and grads now. We can't even have that shit for our fucking selves. Now, so what Brian always makes me do is he always makes me take myself out the equation. <laughs> because as long as Brian and I have been together, have been a thing, I have celebrated him on Father's Day. I don't have any biological children by Brian. However, he is a father, and he's a father to my kids. He's a father to his kids. So on Father's Day, I make a big to-do for Brian the same way I would want him to do on Mother's Day. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. On his birthday, I make a big to-do for you the same way I would want you to do for me. Is that right? Yes, we've established that. Why do we keep going back on this? We've established that. So the only thing I can say is, Y'all gotta stop fucking with these women that, that don't know how to act I'm on holidays. I'm talking about what are you talking about? I'm talking about society, period. I mean so. Well, we I can't no, change I'm society. Well, so I'm just I saying think that men should stop I'm basing shit that. on society and base it on the relationships that you're in. Well, again, Valentine's Day is not geared towards men. It's geared and towards even, women. And even listen, and even in my house. There's also Sweetest Day. Have you are you familiar with Sweetest Day? Yes, it's an October. Okay, so it's Sweetest just, Day was originally. It's just like, it's just like Valentine's no, it isn't. Day. No, it isn't. It's, sweetest it's like Day Valentine's was originated for men. Because men said Valentine's Day is for women. Sweetest Day is supposed to be for men only. That's not worldwide. Right, listen. Right. What I'm saying is, it's not really, it's not really worldwide. Most people don't even know about Sweetest Day. Sweetest Day is basically a Midwest thing. And then, even though it was might have been originated for men, it still ended up being all about women. And women think they're gonna get, in a sense, two Valentine's Day. They get one in October. They get one 
in, in February? Not in my house. Well, I mean, your house, I get your house is very different and your house is very special. <laughs> no, and I wasn't saying that for that reason. I'm just saying that, like, I, so the same way that men don't like to be generalized and put into this one lump of all men are this and all, I feel like that men shouldn't do the same thing to women. A lot of times, men do the same thing to women, right? Because every woman doesn't view Valentine's Day as a woman's holiday. Every woman doesn't view Sweetest Day as it's for me too. So men shouldn't do the same thing to women that you don't want us to do to you. You don't want us to say all men are dogs. You don't want us to say all men are this, that, and the third. So why, so why are we okay with y'all doing that? Sneezy says, I even celebrate my children on Valentine's Day. I do too, Sneezy. I buy my kids Valentine's gifts. So everyone, um, so he knows what to expect from any future women he gets involved with. Exactly. I buy my kids Valentine's gifts as well. Like, I, to me, Valentine's Day is for showing a little extra love that day. So I'm going to show a little extra love to everybody I love. Okay. That's cool. I can now, I think that what y'all need to do is get with someone. And, I, you know, when so me and Brian got together, um, it was difficult for him initially. And I, I would just, it was very odd to me because <laughs> he said that he just had never really been with a woman that did things for him just because she wanted to without wanting anything in return. Right? And, I, and that was a very <laughs> odd concept to me. Have you had that same experience, Paul? Say that one more time. You, your where stream was where women, if they are buying you gifts or doing anything special for you, it's because they ultimately want something in return or because they're ultimately trying to get something out of you. Um, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to that. I wouldn't say that. I think if anyone has tried to give me anything, they genuinely just want to give me something. It's just probably me on the other side of that, probably like, eh, you know, like I appreciate it um, or whatever, but definitely not like, it's, 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 it's sometimes odd, I guess for me. So, yeah. So one Scorpio Chica says, it's sad I got more when I was single than married. I mean, listen, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go down this road, one Scorpio Chica, but you know, like I had to tell Brian, listen, my birthday is a big deal. I don't know about how y'all you grew up. I'm sorry you had that experience. I have tried my very best since we've been together that that has not been your experience. But it's it's never okay for us to just be like, oh, it's your birthday, happy birthday, and that's it. Yeah. So why do you think that is? Because here's the thing. You you hear the thing. Whatever you did to get them is what you got to do to keep them. I hear men say that way more often than I hear women say that. Why do a lot of men not think that the same thing is true for them? Because they pay the bills? Um, no, I mean, I don't, I mean, I think the, I think men try to do this. I mean, some, I think men try to do the same thing sometimes. I mean, I think, I think both, I think both parties fall short, probably fall short of that. Sometimes, it'll be, again, I think, talking about it before like once you start getting comfortable with somebody you tend to probably not do some of the things that you did in the beginning uh to get the person and you have you know got to re-jump re-jump to start some things to try to keep that same energy i think it works both ways so when you're 90 years old what will matter most to you in the world you think say one more time <clears throat> when you're 90 years old what will matter most to you in the world no no knowing that i raised my kids right um yeah that would probably be so my 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 thing i guess my three things would be I'm oh, always trying to say yeah so one um it would be one that did i did i yeah like brian said did i raise my kids right what do my kids think about me um or whatever um i would have always liked to know you know what I'm saying? Was I a good son? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did my, no, what did my mother think of me? When you're 90, um, you're going to be, you're, you want to know what your mother thought about you? 
Yeah, like I would like when I die, you know what I'm saying? I would want to know what 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 kind of what kind of father was I? What kind of son was I? You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, you know, if 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 things were to go that in that direction again, you know what I'm saying? It would be like, you know, like what kind of you know, like what kind of human being was I? Like what kind of like human being was I? Like did I did I do enough in this world to to make a mark? You know yeah, saying? see, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, like, did I leave a mark on the world at all, right? Like, outside of, like, my my, my personal circle. Uh -huh. Like, did I make an impact on the world at all? Could, would probably be my question. Yeah, I just want to know, did I, did I leave a mark? Did I, did I mean something? Did I do something enough to to make people think about me once I'm out of here, you know what I mean? Go ahead, Brian, you were saying something? Okay, to me, knowing that I raised my kids right is leaving a mark on the world to me because that's the generation of, of, of people doing the right thing and trying to do better and make a mark because I raised them right. 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 Okay. What song describes your life? What song? <laughs> what song describes my life? Um, I don't even know. I don't have to think about song. What song? There's so many describes songs I'm trying to narrow down. I don't even know. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like so many, so many, so many songs. Just that you could put. You know, you could you could probably relate to to your life right now. So. I want to think about that one a little bit. I got mine. <clears throat> what's Zoom, what's by the Zoom by the Commodores. Zoom by the Commodores. Zoom? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna Google that one real quick. Google them lyrics. This, this yeah, that's just all right. And sing a song for you. A song for you. Oh, I know that one. Mm. Song for you. I know mm. that one. What song best long... describe my life? Um, this is a long song. It is. You know, like he's long winded. Long. No, I'm not. But the lyrics are serious. You know, I'm big on lyrics. What are the lyrics? You want to sing it for us? I ain't singing nothing. Sing it for us, Brian. I ain't singing shit. Sing us, sing it for us. I ain't singing nothing for free. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a... I was always told if you're good at something, don't do it for free. Oh, Jai says, "Lovely day." Bill Why would that be your song, Jai? Um, if I had to a song that oh, yeah, I, 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 I remember I remember the song. Yeah, I remember, I remember the song right here. Yeah. That's a good song, Brian. Good song. Um, I think my song might it's a gospel song. It'll probably be I won't complain. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, sir. Can you come back to the to the show? I'm sorry. That I, I know that song. That's 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 when Lionel Richie was with the group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's when Lionel Richie's with the group. So, yeah. Honestly, I only one person in our audience said a song. What's y'all song? What's y'all song? Come on. My it song. Always, it always. Oh, because you always strive to have a lovely day. Okay. Good one. What song would be Lovely Day? Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely. Day. <laughs> um, right now, I would probably if I had to say a song, it would probably be Sam Cook. A change is gonna come. That would be my song. Oh, look at you getting all deep on us and shit. You you that deep on what happened tonight? That would be my song. That would be my song. Breakout. That would be my song. By Swing Out Sister. I don't know that one. Googling it. <laughs> Break out. Okay. Brittany, what's one on your list? You said you have a list. What's one on your list? I got a list too. I have narrowed down. Uh yeah, we all got a list. What's what's one on the list? <clears throat> yeah, I think I would do I won't complain. 
Um, it would also be Smoky Norfolk. Great house, too. <laughs> a lot of my songs are gospel. This one in the corner talking about go ahead, Pastor. I can't stand him. <laughs> He's the pastor. Love that. The evangelist in the family. My other one would be Noah Gordine, the river. Noel Gordine, who is that? He's a singer. You know the river. I don't know the river. How it go? Oh man, I can't. Come on and sing it. I can't. Dang. Sing a little bit That's of it. Okay. Hum it or something. I don't know it. The river. Um, complicated. Oh. And Jesus by Leandria. Listen. This is my Exodus by Leandria. It's I'm telling y'all, it's one of my favorite songs. I just love it so much. Because mm. basically the song is like saying, get me out of the way. So listen, anyway, y'all about to make me have a shop moment. That's why I stopped. Oh. Okay. Um, what is something you like that most people don't? Catch up on my eggs. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mm. Uh, what is something I like that most people don't? Oh, I like over easy eggs. A lot of people don't like them. I like them to be runny. Over easy eggs are good. Only when you have grits, though. You gotta yeah. have grits. No, you know yeah. what? I like to get like a bagel with an over easy egg and some sausage or some bacon and put some um, cinnamon butter or some jelly on the bagel. And then when you bite the bagel, the yolk starts running everywhere. It's so good. Oh, I know. Mo I like scrapple. Most there people don't go. like scrapple. I like you got to fry it hard though. Ew. I like scrapple. Most people don't like scrapple, oh, but I like scrapple. I like chicken. I like chicken or byproduct hot dogs. Right? I do not like beef hot dogs. I like them cheap ninety nine cent pack of hot dogs. <laughs> SK. Yes, uh -oh. give me the cheap SK. Nine nine cent hot dogs, love them. Chicken beef and pork hot dogs. <laughs> it's some beef hot dogs taste weird to me. Okay, nah, uh, Lord You Are Good by Todd Goutberg. Goutberg. Okay, Sugar in My Grits. This is my Exodus is my favorite, Ebony. Yes, this is my Exodus. Text me in every time, Nitra. Sauerkraut. Oh. <laughs> Y'all eat some nasty stuff. Um, it's just gross. Something that you mm. like that most people don't like. What do I think? I got a this? question. Okay. I got a question. Okay. What is the craziest thing that you've ever done for someone to show them that you cared about them? Moving over home. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> My man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like sweet potatoes, yams, or sweet potato pie. Um, the craziest thing, I had a threesome. My first threesome with two dudes was because he asked me to, and I loved him, and I would do anything he asked me to do. That was trying. And so it was like, okay, he asked me to have a threesome with him and his brother. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I was 16. I was 16. I had my first threesome at 16. And he asked me to do it with, with him and his brother. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, what? How old were you? What? 16. C come again? What? <laughs> it is. 16. You heard what I said. Yeah. But Jai God, said it's damn. not crazy if you care about him. Jai can still be crazy. Like when you look back, you'd be like, that was some crazy ass shit I did. But it's crazy shit. Crazy shit. Like, dang, I can't believe I can't believe I did it to that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's Mama crazy. B just says be stupid. Yeah. So I, I was, you know, I was in love with him and I just ate, slept, and breathed this dude. And whatever he asked me to do, I had never had a threesome. I wasn't even really about that life just yet. Well, you know what? Apparently, you you're not the only one who did that. To, 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 clearly, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. 
That's funny. That's hilarious. So, try to think what else. I've, what else have I done that was? Uh, what 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 have you done? Huh? It was your question. You you, you got to answer it. Oh, um, the craziest thing I think I've ever done. For, <laughs> uh, I didn't really ask the question for me to answer the damn thing. I was wondering, but I wasn't oh, no, too that's not how it works. That's not how it works. But um, I think the craziest thing I've probably ever done at the when I was, I, 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 I you know, I dressed up like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you dress up as Winnie the Pooh? Huh? Why did you do that? Because she, um, cause, cause Winnie the Pooh was like her favorite character and shit. So oh, it wasn't I dressed even Halloween. Up with, <laughs> no, it wasn't it? Wasn't even Halloween. <laughs> so you just wasn't even. She just she just came home one day and you was laid across the bed like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> um, no, I you actually just had a shirt I went to. On. Wait a minute, I don't even like the way you're laughing right now. Don't laugh at me. Nah, I dressed Wait up like a whole like I was. Wait a minute. Was it like a real Winnie the Pooh costume or you was just sitting there with a shirt with no bottoms no. on it? Like <laughs> No, actually, actually with a pie actually. <laughs> no, actually, actually she was uh she was in class she was in class and uh it was a full Winnie the Pooh costume, like Winnie, like it, like I was Winnie the Pooh for real, like. <laughs> yeah, I was. And you came up to the school <laughs> like that? I did, I did, I did. What you did? You bring <laughs> some flowers and candy or something? I did, I did, and Dressed I, I and I had a. Pooh. How old were you when you did? I gotta know. Um, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna go into that shit. <laughs> but so I was. You was like thirty six. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, um, this is this is this is when I was this is when I was um when I was living in Chicago, so I had to be about like twenty twenty six, twenty seven, some shit like that. That was too old. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I was like a, I dressed up like a, uh, I, I I I was dressed up like a whole Winnie the Pooh bear, like it was. Yeah, I was whole Winnie the Pooh and shit. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I just can't even. <laughs> so Sneezy said that she chased somebody down with her car to fight. Damn. What? Okay. Listen, I mean, <laughs> it's like that sometimes. I didn't think that was that crazy because I feel like we all did that before. We all... Yeah. Yeah. So you would somebody said you had to be a tall ass Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> he not I that was, tall. He's not that tall girl, don't worry. <laughs> I, I was. I was a I was a whole I was a whole Winnie the Pooh bear and I and I gave I gave the teacher a note and it said, I'm looking I'm looking for my owner. Can you help me find her? Yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> I was a whole I was a whole Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> You know what? I I can see why now you have a hard time risking and falling in oh. love and shit because you really just like you go all in. <laughs> like, you know, any dude Man. that's willing to dress up as a Winnie the Pooh and get the oh, teacher I've, a corny I've, ass I've, note like that goes all in. Oh yeah, I've, 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 yeah, that was that was yeah. I, I went in. I was like yeah, it's like twenty. I think I was like twenty six, twenty seven years old. I dressed up like a Winnie the Pooh and shit like that. Yeah. Now, what's your next answer? Since you <laughs> <laughs> what's your next answer, Brian? Since moving to Oklahoma was the first one. Oh, I don't know. That's the that's the craziest thing you ever done. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Mama B says it's cute, not corny. That is cute. I mean, listen. I think if a dude ever did that for me, I would be in love forever. Like, I would just be like, I can't believe he did that. And then she said, I would have loved to see the teacher's face. <laughs> did the teacher have a weird face when you gave him the note? Like, what the hell? Um, yeah, well, first of all, when I was walking, when I was, when I was walking through the, 
when I was walking through the school, you know what I'm saying? And I had like oh, you didn't wait fucking, till you got to the door to put your hood on. You you kept the whole costume on. Over. Nope. <laughs> Listen, the whole costume. So when I walked into school, everybody was like, "Oh shit!" Like and people was following follow me around. Like, what the fuck is about to happen? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a Winnie the Pooh. He loose in the school. Yeah, it was it was funny. So how did the girl react to the Winnie the Pooh costume? Um, shocked as fuck. She was shocked as shit. She was shocked. Like she and was super long, shocked. How long did y'all stay together after that? Um, I think two and a half, almost three years. Matter of fact, she was the she was the one she was the one that had me jumping out of bushes and shit. <laughs> well, it all makes sense now. It all, it all, makes, sense now. It all makes sense now. Yeah. So that's yeah. why he was in the bushes for four hours. Okay. It all four makes hours. Sense. I was like, fuck you then. <laughs> Anytime yeah. I dress up like Winnie the Pooh for you, nigga, yeah, I'm outside waiting for you. Yeah, I'm, 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 be out here in these, I'm about to be out here in these bushes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, whose life do you feel you've had the greatest impact on? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would. I would want to. I, I. You know. I think that would probably be a case by case basis. Probably. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I don't know. No, I don't. I, I have no idea. Mama B says know. myself. I don't know greatest impact i would i would i don't know i would like to hope to think you know my child my children like i would like to hope uh, impacted their life shit yeah, i would hate to our, our audience is saying my child yeah i would I would, I would hate to i would hate to have to you know think i had a greater impact on someone else's life other than my own damn children that would suck you know what i mean so, so yeah. I, my answer would probably be my kids but at the same time like I have come to realize that you are impacting people's lives and you don't even know you're impacting people's lives. I've literally had so many people like message me or say things to me <clears throat> that I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and they've said like, you've impacted me. I've watched you do this or I'm here, you know, and I'm just like, what? So I guess it's, 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 it's who you are impacting on purpose and who you don't know that you're impacting. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Because I think we're all purposely trying to make an impact on our children. But who Absolutely. who would you think that you had the greatest impact on that would that would shock you? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I couldn't even answer that question. Probably... These are things that make you go, hmm. Definitely, like one of the things that, yeah, that's definitely one of the things that made them. Hmm. Like, why do they call it? Like, why do they call it a toothbrush when you brush all your teeth? Wouldn't it be called a teeth? <laughs> a teeth brush? Wouldn't it be called a teeth brush? Yeah, hmm. that's what I used to. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's along the same lines as why do you park in the driveway and drive on the parkway? Mm. <laughs> and if you stood behind a clock, would it still go clockwise? <laughs> what? That was the courteous thing. If you stood behind the clock, would it still would it go? Would it still clockwise? be going? Yeah, think about those things, man. Think about them. Okay, wait a minute. Sneezy says, I always love when my students come back and tell me things like that. And also some of the teachers that I have trained over the years. Yeah, it's 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 always very a humbling experience. And, I, and literally out the blue, it has happened to me several times. And I'm sometimes this goes back to kind of what we talked about when we talked about like how easy is it for us to accept compliments, right? Cause sometimes people say that type of stuff to me and I'm just like, get the fuck out of here. You lying. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's just like, I had somebody inbox me last week 
a week before last, and they were like, you know, I really, you, you don't know that I watch you from afar, and I see how you handle things, and I know some of the things going on in your life, and, you know, you really, and they just were going on this whole list of how strong I am, and blah, 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 and I, and I really admire you, and I want to be like you. I've had people say to me, I just want to be like you, and I just be like, what? <laughs> it is very, it's, it, and that's why, Sneezy, I always said I wanted to be a teacher. I actually am still considering at 44, going back to school to get certified to be a teacher. Because when I was young, I always said I wanted to be a teacher. But then somebody told me when I was young, teachers don't make a lot of money. So I called myself following the money and got my degree in business administration. Go figure. Anyway, um, but I always said, like, I want to teach elementary kids, right? Because I feel like elementary kids are the only ones you know for certain leave there knowing something that they didn't know when they got there. So I feel like, you know what I mean? I made an impact on their lives. I taught them something that they didn't know when they got there. Um, and I always have been drawn to like youth and, you know, women. Um, I don't know though. It's, 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 it's six in one hand, half a dozen in another to me. Cause to me, it's also a lot of pressure, right? As well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm <laughs> Brian back here huffing and puffing. <clears throat> Paul over there looking like he trying to really figure this shit out. <laughs> well, I thought about it. Okay, what you think? Some of the kids I was coaching in football when I was back in Maryland. That was about mm -hmm. 10 years ago. And some of them niggas found me on Facebook was like, what up, coach? Now, he was coaching because a lot of the kids, apparently, I didn't know at the time because I was just coaching. <clears throat> they didn't, a lot of them didn't have stable households. And they, and they would say they felt like a family on the football field. I, Cause I was telling everybody, when the kids on the field, they my kids. Sit your ass in the stand. Let me do what I'm doing. I got the kids. I got the best. I got the best interest at heart. And a couple of the kids like, but you made it. I didn't think I made an impact. They're like, yeah, I remember what you said. I'm like, what I say? And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm just living life, just coaching football. I'm yeah, I'm thinking. And you know, also like my kids' friends. You know, a lot of my kids' friends, they don't for whatever reason, their parents aren't open with them, are honest with them. Um, so a lot of my kids' friends end up, I being, me being the person that they confide in and they get advice from. And often, you know, my kids used to hate it, but now my kids, I hear my kids saying, I don't know, ask my mom, my mom knows everything, right? <laughs> so I have to tell my, like, I have to tell my kids, I don't know everything. But literally, my kids are like, my mom knows everything. Just talk to my mom. She's going to have the answer. Right? <laughs> so I'm like, sometimes it's like, there's the pressure. But at the same time, it's like, it's amazing to think that your kids think that you just have the answers. And they, my kids say it all the time. Mom, I knew if anybody could figure it out, you could. I knew you had the answer. I told them, talk to my mom. She knows. So it's, it's and I think for you, Paul, it would be the same thing. Like between your kids and your students, it's the same thing. Oh, yeah. 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 So I, I think I have an impact on them. Well, listen, it's about 10.59. It's about to be the 11 o'clock hour. So I just want to say while we have this time, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone who decided to tune in tonight for Still Radio. Thank you to those who decided to stay up a little bit with us. Uh, tonight was just a light, just a light show. We didn't get too heavy. Um, please be sure to join us Tuesday um, at 8.30, same time. Uh, we will be live here. We'll also be live with um, our radio station, WMEG Radio. Um, same time will be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, <laughs> 8.30. We're trying to get some, a lot of different shows in. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Steel Radio. I'm your man, Steel. Those are my lovely co-host, Ebony, a.k.a. Miss Hot Topic. Brian, a.k.a. The, Beat, the Green Eyed Genie, a.k.a. B Rabbit. Thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry if we didn't get to everybody's comments, but it's about that time. So we'll read the comments and we'll get back to you guys later. I just want to say good night. Good night. See y'all Tuesday. Yeah.